Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It has been a busy couple of weeks in our house between spring break, going out of town, the kids sports and everything. So I have not had a chance to get a new video out for you, but I have had lots of requests for a cleaning marathon. So I thought I would give you guys over three hours of cleaning motivation from some of my latest cleaning videos. In this video, there will be some deep cleaning, organizing, decluttering, grocery hauls, recipes, and all kinds of things so that you can get motivated to get some things done around your house today. So with these cleaning marathons, it is videos that I have already done, but instead of having to search through a bunch of different videos when one video goes off, this just makes it to where you can throw it up on your TV and just clean along with me for hours. So. I promise I will have a brand new video out for you soon, but in the meantime, enjoy this cleaning marathon and I hope you guys get lots of motivation and have an awesome week. Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is going to be an extreme clean and organize with me. I'll be taking you along as I clean it around my house and get a ton done today. I'll also be cleaning out and restocking my refrigerators and pantry. I'll share a huge grocery haul and I'll be cleaning up after dinner as well. So if you're in need of some extreme cleaning motivation today, then you're in the right place because I have a lot to get done in this video. So grab your to-do list and let's clean together. So this first night of cleaning is actually in the evening right before we were about to head to cheerleading for Gracie June. So before we had to leave, I wanted her to help me clean up because she had her Valentines all over the table. We were kind of going through them and checking them all out. And I just wanted to get this mess cleaned up because I knew I had a long day of cleaning the next day. And we actually ended up going out to dinner for Valentine's Day right after her cheerleading practice so I didn't have any mess to clean up from cooking that night. So it was nice because I was able to go to the grocery store the next morning and get straight to cleaning after that. So if this is your first time checking out my channel, I'm so glad that you found me. My name is Amy Darley and I am a stay at home mom. I actually taught in the classroom for nine and a half years before finally getting to stay home with my kids. Um, we were able to finally make that happen by becoming debt free, which I shared that whole story in another video. And if you want to check that out, then I will link that video down in the description box if you want to hear about our debt free journey. But I am married to my husband Chance and we have two kids, Kaysen, my son is 10 and Gracie June is 8. And here on my channel, I share lots and lots of cleaning motivation, but I also share some home decor, organizing, recipes, and anything else lifestyle related that I feel would be helpful or motivating for you guys. So I hope that you'll enjoy my content. And when you leave here, I hope you feel encouraged and feel like you can tackle your to-do list as well. And I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel. That way you get notified when I post new videos. And if you are new, please be sure to introduce yourself down in the comments so that way we can get to know you. And of course, if you're a returning subscriber, I'm so glad that you're here as well. Thank you for hanging out with me for another video. I hope you get motivated and get all the things done on your to-do list today. All right, so now we're gonna get in here and clean out and reorganize this fridge. I'm gonna wipe it all down. I'm not gonna pull out the condiments in the side of the door today, but I am gonna wipe down the rest of the fridge and then restock and organize it. And at this point in the morning, I have already gone to the grocery store, so you'll see I have all the groceries sitting out on the counter. So I wanted to clean really quick before I put all those things away. But I did run to Publix, and I also got some things from Costco a few days before this. So I will share with you guys a Publix and Costco haul um, later on in the video. 
Now, honestly, the fridge was not too, too bad. I find that if I actually wipe down and clean out my fridge at least once a month, then it doesn't get too bad. You can see that the fruit drawer is a little gross, but that's because we had a few pieces of fruit that weren't looking so good <laughs> at the bottom of this drawer. Um, but I'm gonna vacuum this out really quickly. I shared this little vacuum probably about a month ago, the last time I cleaned out my fridge, and it's called a blue fill vacuum. It's just a very small, pretty powerful vacuum for the size, and I love using it for stuff like this, and you'll see me use it on my stove later, but I pull this thing out a ton. I got it off of Amazon, and I will link it for you in case you're looking for a good little handheld vacuum. This would be great to keep in a car, too. All right, now I'm just gonna wipe down the inside of the drawers and all of the shelves and everything with Dawn Power Wash and a microfiber cloth. All right, so in a little bit, I'm gonna give you guys a Publix and Costco grocery haul. Um, these are the two places that I've been shopping for groceries the most lately. I used to do Walmart grocery pickup all the time because I love the convenience, but for some reason, a few months ago, every single time I would order, I'd have to sit and wait for like an hour before they would finally bring my groceries out to me. I don't know if it's just the Walmart that's the closest to our house, if it's just super busy or what, but lately I've just been either going to shop at Publix or sometimes I'll do Instacart and they deliver, and then also shopping at Costco. Um, I think I told you guys in a recent video, but we just got a Costco here a few months ago. We have a Sam's, but this is the first time I've ever been shopping at Costco is the last couple of months. And so I'm still figuring out what the best products are, but I love it because I'm getting everything, like all of our snacks in bulk and then household items. But all the other stuff I get from either Publix, sometimes I'll shop at Kroger, but majority of the time it's Publix. Walmart if I go in, and then, like I said, Costco. But y'all let me know where do you guys like to shop for your groceries. Also, I don't know if you guys have seen all of the like restocking videos on TikTok and Instagram, but I love watching those mainly to get ideas of foods. But I don't know, there's something so satisfying about seeing restocks. But this little drawer here, I'm actually putting some of the kids' snacks. And I've got some Lunchables, which I'll talk about those in a little bit. I've got applesauce, um, some fruit cups, some pudding, and then in the other drawer next to it, you saw I put some Go-Gurts and string cheese. So these are kind of like the kids' two little snack drawers. <laughs> Now here in this drawer, this is all of our meats that we keep thawed out. So like deli meats, snack meats, or anything that we're gonna be cooking with. And then also our cheese drawer. Nothing out there could ever stop me From chasing after the way you la 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 love me so I decided that I was gonna put this fruit in a basket so that way if anything were to like go bad or something or get spilt on the bottom of the basket, it's a little bit easier to clean out than the drawer. Cups of coffee. Baby, you make me feel so la 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 lovely. I keep on running, no, I shouldn't want it. I keep on running right until you're gone. I can't get you off my mind. So sweet, yeah, I need it from you. Got my hands on, on you, sweet. Like 
Now here I'm just gonna slice up some cucumber. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I have my veggies pre-cut and ready to eat, I will tend to snack on those a lot more than if I have to go through all of this every single time I wanna snack. So I decided to go ahead and cut up all of the cucumbers and just store them here in this mason jar. Chasing after the way you la 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 love me Color my life up like confetti Baby you make me feel so la 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 lovely I keep on wanting, no I shouldn't want it uh -huh, uh -huh. I keep on falling right until you're gone I can't get you off my mind So Okay, I'm gonna take a break from the kitchen really quick now that I have all of my cold food items put away. And I'm gonna go ahead and make my bed. I washed our bedding this morning, and so I am gonna go ahead and make our bed, and then I'll get back into the kitchen and finish the pantry and then the outside fridge in just a little bit. You said it was the last time But you keep coming back to tell me Sorry that you take back All the things you said just to hurt me Our love just went cold But I'm still burning Our love just went cold Why? I keep on making the same mistake
Okay, so we love snacks in our house. I don't know about you guys, but my kids will tear up some snacks. And so obviously they probably don't eat as much at like breakfast or lunch or dinner as they would if they didn't snack all day. But I try to stock our pantry with some healthier snacks. Um, and then we also have some protein bars in here. I'm just kind of showing you some of the stuff that's in this snack basket. But some of this, the protein bars, my kids don't really eat. They do eat the Z bars and the Chex Mix and yogurt covered raisins, all of that good stuff. And then we also have this little basket. This is some breakfast items that we just keep on hand in case we wanna do a quick breakfast. These aren't the healthiest options, but these are just if we're in a big hurry and the kids need something really quick to eat, we can grab some of those. But I also like to keep our pantry packed with snacks because we have lots of kids at our house all the time. Our kids have friends in the neighborhood that just come over. And of course, the first thing they wanna do is snack when they get here. So we just try to have all these snacks on hand in case anybody's hungry. Love it, how you love me electric, like you do. Love it, how you love me electric, always you. Love it, how you love me electric. Now in this snack basket, I have some little baggies where I've done some trail mixes for the kids to take to school for snacks. So we've got like goldfish, pretzels, gummies, and then veggie straws, all those kind of things. So that way in the morning, I can just grab one of these bags, throw it in their book bags, and that's their school snack for the day. And this is something that I try to do at the beginning of the week. Sometimes it ends up being throughout the week, but if I do a good job and I prep on Sundays, then I will have all their snacks ready for the whole week in this basket. Now, earlier in the video, when I was going through Gracie June's Valentine's and all those little treats that they got for that, I organized or reorganized our sweets basket. And we have recently told our kids that they are no longer allowed to have dessert every night. They can only have it on the weekends and um, unless it's a healthy dessert. So like fruit or we have those sugar-free jello packs, those kind of things they're allowed to have during the week as a dessert. And then they're allowed to have the fun sweets on the weekends. Love it, how you love me a lot, love me a lot, love me electric. All right, we are moving out to the garage. We're going to stock this little fridge here with all of our drinks. And currently you can see what our fridge looks like. I need to clean it out. And actually the last time I showed you guys the, the fridge, the same thing had happened. One of the, it was either a Diet Dr. Pepper or a protein shake had exploded and frozen in here and it exploded all over the inside of our fridge and it did it again. So I don't know, we're trying to fix the settings onto this on this refrigerator so things stay cold but they don't get frozen. So I'm gonna clean this mess up and then I will stock the fridge. So while I'm stocking the fridge, I figured I would take a second to let you guys know that in March, I'm going to start a spring cleaning series and I'm going to give you guys some spring cleaning motivation and I'm hoping that you guys will try to get your spring cleaning done with me. So each week we'll be doing new things on the spring cleaning checklist. I'll give you guys that checklist and everything. I'm in the process of putting all that together and then that way I can share it with you and Hopefully it'll motivate you, but also like kind of keep you organized a little bit on things that you want to get done for spring cleaning. Now, my list might be a little bit different than yours. Maybe there's going to be some stuff on my list that um, you might not need to do for your spring cleaning, or there might be things that I left off of my list that you need to get done. So if you have anything 
that you want to get done for spring cleaning, make sure to let me know down in the comments so I can include it in the spring cleaning checklist. I know some people left some comments last week, so thank you to everyone who's helping me out with that. And I'm ready to start spring cleaning and I'm ready for warmer weather. <laughs> all right, so now our fridge is all stocked with drinks. I need to get some more Diet Dr. Peppers and probably go ahead and get some more protein shakes, but the fridge is looking pretty good. Okay, you guys, I have a little grocery haul for you. So all of this stuff right here is from Publix. I also have some drinks that are in the dining room that I'll share with you. And then I got some stuff from Costco as well, but I didn't get very much because they were out of a lot of stuff that I wanted. So we're gonna start over here. Some pepperoni, some turkey sausage bites. These are just for me to have some snacks. Um, if I'm feeling hungry, some good protein snacks. We've got some provolone. This is reduced fat provolone turkey for sandwiches or wraps. I got some um, ground pork sausage. This is actually for egg roll in a bowl. We're gonna be doing that recipe tonight. And the only one that they had was hot. Usually I get mild, but my kids are not gonna be eating it, so it's okay. Hopefully Chance can handle the hot sausage. I love spicy. Y'all have to let me know if you like spicy too, but my kids won't be eating it, so I figured it was okay. I'll just go ahead and use that. I didn't feel like running to another grocery store. <laughs> I got some eggs. Got lots and lots of chicken, and I did do an order at Costco, but they were out of the chicken that I like to get. So this is the Just Bar Lightly Breaded Chicken Breast Bites. These are so good, and I love getting them from Costco in the huge bag, but like I said, they were out. So I got them from um, Publix, and everybody says these taste like Chick-fil-A nuggets. And I will say the texture is just like Chick-fil-A nuggets, especially like in the air fryer. They don't taste exactly like them, but they are really, really good, especially if you're going to have nuggets at home. I got some um, pulled chicken breasts for a chicken Parmesan penne pasta recipe that I'm going to do this week. And then I got some blackened chicken strips. I like to put these on wraps as well. I got lavish bread. This is for the wraps. Um, some coleslaw for our egg roll in a bowl. Then we've got some snacks back here. We've got goldfish, Ritz crackers, Little Bites muffins. Gracie Jean likes the party con. Um, we've got some Z-Bars. Gracie Jean's favorite is the chocolate chip. And Kaysen's is the chocolate brownie. They'll eat both, but that's just their favorites. Um, nut pods creamer this is for my coffee and then I got the Skippy natural creamy peanut butter and I love this one because you can see the ingredients on this one are really good so got that I've got some Rowell's four cheese sauce two of these this is also for that chicken parmesan penne recipe as well as some panko breadcrumbs and diced tomatoes for that recipe as well um, veggie straws for a snack. The kids are obsessed with the yogurt covered raisins, so I got bunches of those. We've got some mandarin oranges, strawberries, grapes, bananas. I also got some apples. And then I got 10 of these sparkling ice waters. I love these, especially if, you know, I just don't feel like drinking regular water. I love these. And I got a bunch of them. I think Publix was like, it was $9 for 10 of these. Now you could get a 12 pack for like $11 and something, um, but they were specific flavors. And so I got a ton of different flavors. So I got those, I got 10 of those. Um, this sauce right here was recommended on Instagram. I can't even remember who posted about it, but I wanted to try it because it looks good. It's a Sir Kensington's special sauce. And then I got some sugar-free cheesecake jello mix. This is actually gonna be for some overnights, overnight oats that I'm gonna be making next week. I am gonna share with you the overnight oats that I'm making this week, but this one's actually for next week, and if I like it, I'll share it with y'all. Um, another little snack food, I got some hummus with some crackers. I got two of those. Reese's Take Five, my all-time favorite snack that I have to hide from my kids. Um, a little 
jello for the kids for dessert. Um, and then some Lunchables. I just got a few of these. Sometimes my kids like to eat these as a snack on the way to sports and stuff like that. Not these. I won't let them do this in the car. <laughs> but we've got some pizza Lunchables and then we've got like the crackers with the cheese and um, turkey meat or whatever. So that is all I have here. And then I do have some drinks and stuff to show you real quick. Okay, here we are in the dining room. I've got some drinks and stuff up here. Um, these two were from Publix. I wanted to get more of these, but they only had one 12 pack left of Diet Dr. Peppers, so I got that. Got some waters, and I actually got the waters last week, so we've already broken into these. And then the rest of the stuff I got from Costco, I got another thing of waters because I forgot that we already had these. <laughs> and then we got some chips, a huge thing of chips, which we have already broken into. This is also from Costco. Some Capri Suns from Costco. I wish that they would do the Roaring Waters at Costco because usually my kids just drink the Roaring Waters because it doesn't have any sugar in it. But I got these because we are constantly having kids over and they did not have any Roaring Waters at Publix when I went last week and got these waters. So I just decided to go ahead and get some of these to have on hand. And then some Premier Protein Shakes. I love the chocolate ones. I also wanted to try the Fair Life ones. I think that's what it's called, but Costco was out of those. So anyways, that is all of the stuff that we have for this grocery haul. Okay, so it is actually later in the evening. I just got done cooking this egg roll in a bowl. I'll actually include the recipe in the description box in case you guys want to check out that recipe. I've shared it in a video a long time ago, but I'll just leave the, leave the recipe so you can easily find it. But now that I'm done cooking, I'm going to go ahead and clean up after dinner and get this kitchen back in order. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but I rarely ever film cleaning videos at night. And there's lots of reasons for this, but most of my cleaning gets done during the day when my kids are at school. And me and my friend Jamie, y'all probably know her, Jamie's Journey. We were actually talking about this because we have like completely different schedules. She's got itty bitty ones. She's got little toddler twins. And then my kids are a little bit older. So in the afternoons after school, we are running around like crazy to sports. So since our schedule is so busy during the week, Monday through Thursday we have sports and then during baseball season, which is almost year round because we're in Georgia, it stays warm here. They are playing baseball. Literally our first tournament is at the end of February, but they've already been practicing and they've already been scrimmaging. But our first tournament is at the end of February and then they usually don't finish until mid to end, end of October and sometimes into November. And so we usually have about two to three tournaments a month. And on tournament weekends, they usually play all day Saturday and all day Sunday. So our weeks and weekends are just crazy busy with sports right now. So that is just our season of life that we're in and I absolutely love it. I love being able to watch them do the things that they love. Me and Chance both were really into sports growing up and we played so many different sports. So it's a lot of fun to get to watch our kids do the same thing. And of course, whatever it would be, whether, it, you know, even if it's not sports, just watching them do things that they love is so rewarding as a mom. But like I said, it keeps us pretty busy during the week. So for me, I try to get all of my cleaning done during the day, all of my YouTube stuff done during the day, while I also have to fit in workouts, grocery shopping, meal prepping, because a lot of times we're gone in the evenings, so I like to meal prep during the day so that we can still have a home-cooked meal and not eat out every single meal during the week. <laughs> um, and so I'm trying to get all of these things done within the day while the kids are at school. So I usually drop them off about 7.40 or 7.30 actually is what time we typically drop off. And then I get home, get started on whatever it is that I have to do for that day, try to get all the things done before I get them from the bus stop at like close to three o'clock. So anyways, that is why I am typically getting all of my stuff done during the day is because 
the rest of the day after the kids get home is crazy busy and I just don't have as much time to clean or film. But on this particular evening when I was cleaning, Gracie June had no tumbling because her tumbling got canceled for the night. And so we were actually at home and I decided that after cooking, I would go ahead and just film the cleaning so that way you guys could see a little bit of like after dark cleaning. Um, while I was cleaning up, it was that the kids were getting their showers and all of that stuff after Kaysen got home from baseball. And then we went and put the kids to bed and then I got back to cleaning downstairs. So like I said, this is not a typical night for me. I don't usually clean in the evenings as much. Um, I'll tidy up here and there if I need to because I don't like to go to bed with a dirty kitchen, but sometimes it just happens. Sometimes we don't clean up as much after dinner. It just stays and then I'll clean it up in the morning. Um, but on this evening, I did not get done cleaning until about 10 o'clock at night. And that is so rare for me because usually I'm in bed by like 9 o'clock, 9.30, whether it's because I'm going to sleep or if I'm just in the bed watching TV and relaxing for a little bit before I go to sleep. But now y'all have to let me know how you guys are. Are you night owls or are you early risers? I probably wouldn't say I'm either. I do not like to get up super early, but I don't like to stay up super late either. I just, I really like my sleep. <laughs> But also, do you guys typically clean during the day or do you have to clean after you get off of work? Um, what are your cleaning schedules like? I would love to get some insight on how you guys get things done around your house. Is there anybody out there Okay, and I had to mention this because I thought it was pretty funny. Someone said um, that I don't ever have a whole lot of dishes to clean, and I'm always just cleaning my air fryer, and I thought it was so funny because pretty much every video lately, I've definitely been cleaning my air fryer, and that's because I use it so much. I used it for lunch today. I used it to cook the kids some chicken nuggets because they did not eat egg roll in a bowl. So I used this to cook their chicken nuggets in the evening. And I just love this thing. You guys will have to let me know if you have an air fryer, if you use it, your favorite recipes or anything like that. I'm pretty much using this every single day and I love it. Looking for the sunrise. Sometimes it feels like we're so far away Trying to keep our heads above the waves Are we gonna sink like Titanic? Our problems feel gigantic Okay, I'm now going to clean out the sink I'm pretty much in the home stretch. I've got the sink to clean, so I'm using the Mrs. Meyers Baking Soda Cream Cleanser. This stuff is amazing. It smells so good. So I'm gonna use this to clean out my sink, and then I'm gonna wipe down the appliances, the counters, and I also need to do a quick tidy up in the living room, and then I'm going to vacuum and mop my floors at the same time, but I'm only gonna hit up the kitchen tonight because, like I said, it was getting pretty late, and really the kitchen was the most needed area that needed to be vacuumed and mopped. Now for my appliances, I'm using the Jaws Kitchen Cleaner. This stuff is so good. If you haven't ever tried out any of the Jaws Cleaners, I love them so much and I've talked about them in a ton of videos, but I also have a 20% off coupon code for their website. It doesn't work on Amazon, but they do sell 
the Jaws products on Amazon, you just can't get the 20% off coupon. And I don't make a commission or anything, but I do love sharing when I have discount codes for you guys, which I have all of my discount codes linked in the description box. So that way, if there's like a product that you see and you're wondering if I have a discount code for it, go check out the description box. Most of them are not affiliate links, but some of them are. So, um, there's just a few that have affiliate links, but most of them are just coupon codes where I've worked with a brand in the past and they've given me a code. So I just wanna make sure that you guys don't pay full price for anything if you can get a discount. But here you can see, look how shiny my appliances are when I use this kitchen cleaner. Now for my wood countertops, I use the Method Wood Cleaner. It smells amazing. I wish you could smell my house right now with it being clean and this using this product last is always the best. So if you have wood furniture, which I feel like most of us do, you can use this to clean your wood furniture around your house and it smells awesome. So now I have these little things that need to go upstairs. Um, I just have them sitting in my dining room, but I got these fuzzy slippers from Walmart for Gracie June. And then I got all these little patches. If you guys have seen some videos recently, I've been obsessed with patches. And I also found some really fun little bags that I can put the patches on. I got them from some wholesale site on Facebook. And I kind of went overboard, but I figured this would be really fun for us to use, but also for gifts, doing some personalized gifts, maybe even some giveaways on here. But I'll share some of these little crafts with you guys in some upcoming videos in case you want to see how they turn out. And I'll probably do a giveaway in one of those videos too, just because these bags are so much fun. All right, so you can see the floors here in my kitchen. There are crumbs everywhere from cleaning in here. So what I'm gonna do is quickly just vacuum and mop using my Tenko iFloor 2 at the same time. Now this vacuum came highly recommended. They do have an iFloor 3, but I decided to just purchase the iFloor 2 because it was $125 at Walmart. I will link it below. But I bought this vacuum because I was intrigued that it could vacuum and mop at the same time and I thought it would be so, so much easier than having to vacuum my entire downstairs and then go back over and mop. So I love this thing and it has definitely saved me some time and my floors have never been cleaner because I definitely vacuum and mop a whole lot more than I used to. Um, but I do still love my O-Cedar Spin Mop for a good deep cleaning on the floors and also getting the baseboards all nice and clean because that's one thing is the tin coat doesn't get your baseboards and it also has just a tiny little gap between the vacuum and whatever like wall or baseboards or whatever because it is a vacuum so that's the only thing but I do love this and like I said it's only $125 at Walmart.
Hey friends and welcome to today's video which is going to be a massive clean with me. This video is jam packed with cleaning motivation. I've got some laundry to do, carpet cleaning, bathroom cleaning, getting my entire house back in order after being on vacation, a yummy recipe, and even a super easy DIY. So get out your to-do list and let's tackle some things together. Okay, here we go. My family and I just got back from a trip to Universal, so we have bags and snacks and all kinds of things just thrown all over the downstairs. So this first day of cleaning, I am basically just trying to get everything put back in its place, get some laundry started, and just get as much cleaning done as I can. Now, if you're new to my channel and this is your very first video that you've seen of mine, then welcome, I am so glad that you're here. My name is Amy Darley, my husband's name is Chance, like take a chance. I have two kids, Kaysen, my son, is 10, and Gracie June, my daughter, is eight. And then we also have a chocolate lab named Cooper, you'll see him throughout the video, and we have three little kitties, which a lot of you were asking for more kitty content, so you're gonna definitely get to see a lot of the kitties in today's video. So here on my channel, you'll find lots and lots of cleaning motivation with cleaning tips, hacks, some of the best cleaning products, as well as organization, home decor, and anything else lifestyle related that I can sprinkle into my videos. My main goal with my channel is to keep you guys company and hopefully bring you a little encouragement as you're getting your day-to-day -day tasks done and also just make you not feel like they're so tedious. When it comes to cleaning, I feel like getting started is definitely the hardest part. So hopefully by watching my videos, it'll light a little fire and get you up and started on tackling that first task for the day. So if you enjoy my content, I would love for you to stick around and join our community here. There's a little subscribe button right below this video. If you click that button and then the bell right next to it, and then the word all, you'll get notifications to your phone every single time I post a new video. And if you're new, be sure to say hey in the comments and introduce yourself so that way we can all get to know you. And thank you to all of my friends who are returning for another video. I'm so glad that you're here. And y'all let me know what's on your to-do list today or fill me in on your lives. How are things going? Anything exciting happening? I wanna hear it all. So after giving you guys a whole introduction of myself and my channel, I have basically cleaned my entire bedroom. So now it's all clean. Don't you guys wish it was that fast? I know I do. So I have one room cleaned and a lot of cleaning still left to do. So here's a little sneak peek of the new mirror I got for my room. I'm not gonna show it all to you today because my next video is going to be an entire room makeover. I'm gonna be getting some spring cleaning done, but I'm also gonna be redoing our master bedroom. Our furniture in our master bedroom is so old. We've actually had it since we got married and I just repainted it before we moved into our house like four years ago. And so I'm really, really excited to be able to do a little makeover in there because some of our pieces in there are literally falling apart. Um, but stay tuned for that next video. I'm really excited about it. All right, so I've emptied out our park bag and I figured I'd show you what all we take in our park bag every time we go. Um, so first we have our lanyards. This is our express passes, so it makes it super easy just to wear the lanyard while we're going around the park and we can just scan it really quick while we get on the rides. We've got extra socks in case anybody's feet get wet. We've got stuff in this bag. So I actually made these bags 
and some other really cute bags, which I'll share with you guys in just a little bit how I made them, what all the bags look like, what I keep in them, all that good stuff. So um, in this bag, we've got the GoPro, which we planned on filming some like home videos just for us, but we didn't pull out the GoPro at all while we were there. Um, we were just living in the moment and didn't get anything videoed, but that's okay. We also got some battery packs in here to recharge our phones and a little charger cable. In this bag, we've got some medicine in case anybody gets a headache. So we've got Excedrin, ibuprofen, Tylenol, and then also some feminine products. We've got some hand sanitizing wipes, gum, some chapstick, hand sanitizer, band-aids, snacks, which are self-explanatory, and some sunscreen. So now I'm gonna put some of these things back in our bag that we like to keep in there for traveling. And then a few of the other things actually will go into our baseball bag that we take to baseball tournaments on the weekends. All right, so we have all of our stuff out here on the counter in the bathroom, and these are more of those little bags that I made. I'm gonna show you how I made them really quick. So here's a look at all the bags that I got. There's three different sizes of this type of bag, and then we also have these clear ones that have um, the little zipper at the top, these clear pouches. Now, all of these bags I actually got from a girl who sells them wholesale, and then I also got these patches from her as well. So I'm gonna link her Facebook group down in my description box because she does these sales every now and then, and you're able to order all the stuff through her, which is at a huge discounted price versus what you would actually order these things for on Amazon or Etsy. And then all I did was took these little letters, they're actually adhesive on the back, and she said you don't have to heat press them on, but I found that when I heat pressed them, I tried to keep it off of the like plastic part, then they actually stuck on way better and I didn't have to worry about them falling off. And here's a look at all the different bags that I made, and I'll show you what I keep in the ones that I had for travel. But these bags were so easy to make, took like two seconds. I love them. So this is my makeup bag. This is my skincare bag. I've got my toothpaste in here too, but I've also got all of my skincare products for traveling. And then this stuff bag is where I put all the extra stuff. So deodorant, I took my shampoo, conditioner, all that stuff, hairspray. This loofah actually stays in my bag for travel, I've got an extra one. But these are all the bags that I use to travel with. I also have this little one that I kept our hair ties and scrunchies and all that kind of stuff in. But while I'm here in the bathroom, I'm actually gonna put these whitening strips on from Lumino. I've been using them and I love doing this while I'm cleaning. So they're super easy to put on. You have one strip for the top, one strip for the bottom. And then I'm just gonna set my timer for 30 minutes. But Lumino Oral Essentials is an oral care company that uses non-toxic ingredients in oral health safe formulas, which are backed by scientific studies and non-toxic certifications. You won't find any harsh bleaches, artificial dyes, or alcohol in any of the Lumino products. Everything is dentist formulated and backed by over 50 studies and proven to protect the good bacteria, which is also known as microbiome. So the whitening strips that I'm using today only take 30 minutes of application to brighten your smile with none of the sensitivity. So the whitening strips are actually super effective and they're perfect if you have sensitive teeth. My husband, Chance, actually has very sensitive teeth, so he's not able to use a lot of the whitening strips that are out there, but these actually had no sensitivity and worked great. Lumino says that you'll actually see results within seven days, but I saw them after the very first time that I used them, and I was shocked. I also love how fresh and clean they make my mouth feel after whitening. And then I also use the Lumino mouthwash and toothpaste to keep my teeth bright after doing the whole whitening application. Then there's the whitening pen that you can actually use to whiten your teeth by just applying a couple of coats onto your teeth and then you make sure not to eat or drink anything for 30 minutes after. 
or you can use the pen as a stain repellent where you apply a couple of, co of coats onto your teeth then you wait 60 seconds and you can actually drink your coffee, your wine, whatever it is, and it will act as a stain repellent. So after using these products for several weeks, I saw a huge difference in the whitening of my teeth. I love that these products are made with clean ingredients that freshen and whiten my teeth just as good as all of the other brands out there without the harm. And Chance actually saw how white my teeth were getting, how well that they worked, and also that there was no sensitivity. So we actually had to buy him a pack of the whitening strips as well. And like I said, so many other people are ranting and raving about these products on Instagram, and now you know why. <laughs> so if you'd like to try out these products, you can find Lumino on Amazon.com, and you can actually get $7 off of your order today. Okay, we're almost done cleaning the bathroom. I'm gonna clean down the toilets really quick and I'm just using Clorox wipes. And then I'm gonna use the Clorox toilet bowl wand. If you do not have one of these things, they are amazing. They make it super quick and easy to clean your toilet bowl. And I would say this is probably one of those products, those cleaning products that I just could not live without now that I've used it. But y'all will have to let me know, what is one cleaning product that you could not live without now that you have used it? Apologies, cause stats don't really care what you think, what you think, what you think. Yay, the bathroom is all clean, and now we're gonna move on to the rug here in my entryway. I need to clean this with the carpet cleaner today because Cooper, our dog, who is 13 years old, has had several accidents, and I've actually just been kind of spot cleaning this, but he has had several accidents. You can't even really tell. This spot cleaner is amazing. This is the Rocco and Roxy Stain and Odor Eliminator. I've been using this for years and I love it so, so much. It smells amazing, but it also works great. But before I can do that, I'm gonna push these boxes, which actually are for our little makeover for our bedroom. I've got some really fun stuff to show you guys. Um, I pushed those in the office. You don't even want to see what my office looks like right now. It's a disaster. It's just filled with boxes and all kinds of different things. But I am vacuuming the rug first, and I actually went over it a couple of times to get as much dog hair as I could out of the carpet before I used my carpet cleaner. And you can see what all came up. And then here is my Bissell carpet cleaner that I'm using today. This is probably one of my best friends recently since Cooper's had so many accidents. And I'm actually using the Rocco and Roxy Oxy Carpet Shampoo. So I've used this several times and it smells so good. I wish you could smell my house after I have cleaned some rugs or carpets or anything with this stuff because it really smells amazing. And it has the Oxy in it too, so it really cleans your carpets well. So I've gotten a lot of questions about this particular carpet cleaner recently, and so I wanted to share some information with you guys. But I will have this particular carpet cleaner linked down in my description box. Um, one of the main questions that I got was, is this safe to use on rugs on hardwood floors? Does it leave your carpet soaking wet? How long does it take to dry? All that kind of stuff. So 
Really quickly, I'm gonna give you a little explanation. When you are using this carpet cleaner, there's a little trigger that you can push and that is what makes all the water and the shampoo and everything come out. So when I'm going forward with the carpet cleaner, that's when it's actually shampooing. But when you pull back on the carpet cleaner, so as I'm pulling back right here, it's sucking up all of that water, all of that shampoo, and getting all of that back out of the rug or carpet. So when I am using the carpet cleaner, I will go over the area, shampoo it, and then when I go back over it, you'll see me go over it several times, I'm actually drying it up. So by the time that I am done cleaning my carpet, I've gone over it several more times, just sucking up the water without pulling the trigger at all. So I'm not adding any more water to it, I'm just going back and forth over to dry up all of the wetness. So when I'm done, it is a little bit damp, but it's not sopping wet. So this carpet cleaner is safe to use on your hardwood floors. Um, the very first time I ever used it in a video was the first time that I'd used it, period. And I did not know that it wouldn't soak through my rugs. So I actually put like plastic wrap and everything down. Y'all may have remembered that video if you've been around for a while. But after that first use, I realized that it does not go through the carpets and you can easily suck up all of that water and it doesn't take long to do. So here is all of the stuff that came out of my carpet or my rug, just that one area rug. And I actually just cleaned this thing with our carpet cleaner a few weeks ago after a huge accident that Cooper had and it still was this dirty. So that's pretty gross. But as soon as I came back in, this is Freddie. She, um, we actually named all of our cats before we found out that they were girls. <laughs> but this is Freddie. She is just chilling, and I guess she loves the way the carpet smells now that it's all clean. And I thought I'd give you a little shot of her and all of her cuteness. <laughs> Okay, so in the bucket, this is actually Cooper's collar. He had gotten some dirt and mud and stuff up underneath his collar, and so I actually soaked his collar in that bucket with Dawn Power Wash overnight, and then this is what it looked like afterwards, and then we gave him a bath and everything. And so now I'm just cleaning his collar, and you can see all the gunk and dirt and stuff that came off of that. It was so gross, but there were still some dirt and everything into little spots that did not come out. I couldn't get it out with the washcloth or with the microfiber cloth. So I am actually going to use my steam shot, my Bissell steam shot, to clean up in those cracks and crevices. This is another one of those tools that I absolutely love because you can clean so many things around your house with this with just steam and which actually sanitizes at the same time so you're not using any harmful ingredients or cleaners or whatever. So I pull this out especially when you have stuff that's just like caked up. Um, I used them on my windowsills a few weeks ago if you saw that video. Um, I've used them in my shower. I've used it in so many different places and I'll actually be using it in my microwave a little bit later in today's video. So I'll link this Bissell steam shot down in my description box in case you want to check it out. So after spraying it with the steam shot, I also went in with this pipe cleaner, straw cleaner. I don't use this particular one on my straws. That would be gross, but I am using it here. And I also use this one on our carpet cleaner. There's a little spot that I can't get into with anything else. So I'll use that. But here you can see all the extra gunk and stuff that came off of the collar. So now my buddy's all nice and clean and his collar's clean and he's looking good. Okay, now let's get in here in the kitchen and get some of this mess put away. I've got lots of snacks that need to be put away. This is our little snack bag that we take. And I have a few other things to put away, but as I was emptying out the snack bag, there was a bag of peanuts that was open. And when I went to grab it, you could see I dumped all the peanuts in there because someone didn't want to use the Ziploc bags that I packed 
to put the open bag of peanuts in. So now there's peanut crumbs all over everything in the bag. I'm like blowing everything off as I'm pulling it out and all over the bottom of the bag. So I just dump the bag out and then luckily I have this handy dandy little vacuum and I'm just gonna vacuum up the inside of the bag. And I get questions about this vacuum every single time I use it, but I will link it down in the description box. It's from Amazon and I use it on my stovetop. You're gonna see me use it in my microwave later, but I love this thing, especially for those little bitty spills where you don't wanna go pull out your other vacuum, change the attachments, do all of that. I just use this one for quick cleanups. All right, the boys are at baseball, me and Gracie Jr. are at home. She actually had tumbling earlier in the day today. So I'm about to whip up some dinner. I'm doing something that's super fast and easy. We've got hamburger helper, beef stroganoff. Um, I've got the beef to go with it, and then this. And I've actually never cooked the hamburger helper before. I do a beef stroganoff recipe that's a little bit healthier version that we typically eat as a family but they had the hamburger helper at someone else's house and so they liked it more than mine. So we're gonna do this since they will not eat the burger bowls that I'm gonna cook for me and Chance. So we've got some lettuce, hamburger meat, pickles, onion, tomatoes, and then usually I make the special sauce that goes with the recipe that I found, but someone shared this sauce a few weeks ago on Instagram and I tried it for the first time last week and it is amazing so i figured why even make my own sauce when i can use this the macros are really good on it um, for one tablespoon you've got eight grams of fat one gram of carbs and zero grams of protein so for me on a low carb day this is really really good and then even on a regular macro day when i'm eating carbs too and lower fats as long as you use it in it like sparingly this is really, really good. I use this on wraps and all kinds of things. So I figured I'm not gonna do the extra work. I'm just gonna use this sauce since it's so good. I probably think it's better than the sauce I make anyways, but I'm gonna get to work on this dinner and I'll show you guys what it looks like after. Okay, a few other ingredients I forgot to mention. Cheddar cheese, Worcestershire sauce, garlic powder, salt and pepper. So that's gonna be for the meat. All right, so this was super quick and easy. So first I am browning my ground beef and I'm doing this with onion. And then I added in the Worcestershire sauce. How do you guys say that? We just, someone said they just call it W sauce because nobody can agree on how you pronounce that. <laughs> um, and then I've got some garlic powder and I just eyeballed all of this stuff. Turned out great. After it was done browning, I just, threw it in my bowl on top of some lettuce and I did weigh mine out because I am doing, I'm counting macros. I'm actually doing the faster way to fat loss. Another round I did a few years ago, I did the program and I absolutely loved it. So I've been sharing a lot of that stuff over on Instagram if you're curious. So I'm putting in four ounces of ground beef and then I'm going to top it with all of my toppings. I've got some um, cherry tomatoes, some pickles, some shredded cheddar cheese, and then that sauce that I was showing you guys earlier, the special sauce. It's amazing. So this recipe is great if you're needing a low carb meal or just a really quick meal for busy nights. And then for the beef stroganoff, I just followed the recipe on the back of the hamburger helper box and the kids absolutely loved it. And then we actually had enough leftover so that they could have leftovers the next night. All right, it's the next day and I'm gonna finish up cleaning, but I had to show you guys the other two kitties. I couldn't leave them out. I'd already shown you Cooper and Freddie. And so 
That was Riley that Kaysen was holding and Ozzy was being held by Gracie June. But here are some areas in the kitchen that needed to be cleaned that if you were to just look at my kitchen from an overview standpoint, you would have been like, oh, your kitchen's clean. You don't have anything to clean. <laughs> well, look at the inside of my microwave. Look at my stovetop. We've got crumbs everywhere. If you get close up on my stainless steel, there's just handprints and watermarks, all that good stuff. So I'm going to unload my dishwasher. These are all the dishes that we loaded yesterday and turned on the dishwasher last night. So I'm going to unload these. And then I only have a few dishes from breakfast to load into the dishwasher because it is early in the day. And then we will get to cleaning the rest of the kitchen. You know that I'm the queen of overthinking. It's like we're done before we even started. So if this is the end now, baby, know that I gave him my all. So my kiddos are old enough to start making their own food. I know some people let their kids do it way earlier, but Kaysen is 10. However, when you let them be in charge of stuff like this, it does mean more messes. So we've got eggs all over the stove, but guess what? He was able to make his own eggs, so I'm proud of him. <laughs> so I'm just going to vacuum this up and then clean our stovetop. Now, while I'm doing this, I figured I would tell you guys a little bit about our trip to Universal. But first, I would love to know if you and your family go on vacations, um, what your favorite places are to go. Because our favorite place is definitely Florida, going to Universal, Disney, all that stuff. But growing up, we rarely ever went on vacations. And it's because my mom was a manager at a furniture store. So she always had to work weekends. So she would have one day off during the week, which was typically, typically a Thursday. And then she would work Saturdays and then she would be off on Sundays. So we hardly ever got to go on vacations. We did go to Disney one time when I was 10 years old. And then I remember taking a trip to Savannah when I was in high school with my mom. Now, I'm actually from Warner Robins, Georgia, which is middle Georgia. It's right below Macon, if you know where that is. Um, but now, where we live, Chance is from Savannah, and so we moved back here. We live in a town right outside of Savannah. So it, I thought it was funny that one of the trips that I had been on in high school was to Savannah and got to go to Tybee and go to the beach and everything. But like I said, we didn't do vacations very often when I was growing up just because my mom worked so much. And she just had a crazy work schedule, which I completely understand. Um, Chance has had a crazy work schedule, so um, it's nothing compared to what my mom had because he does not have to work weekends anymore. He used to take call. He's in medical sales, and he used to take call. So the first several years that we were married, we could not do vacations. Um, but now that Chance does not take call anymore, he still has a crazy busy schedule. So we typically try to do like four day getaways. So we'll leave one, it's actually three nights, and then we'll, you know, come back the fourth day. So Universal is not a very far drive for us. It's about four hours, maybe a little longer with traffic. So that is one place that we love to get away to. We also love all the beaches near us. We love Amelia Island, um, St. Augustine. All of those places are fun vacation spots for us. But we love doing vacations. We feel like it's a great time for our family to bond and just get away 
and not be so consumed with screens or our busy schedules. We actually get time to go out and explore and do some fun things together. So this past trip, we went on a Friday and we got down there, stayed in our hotel and the kids got to swim the first night and then we did Universal on Saturday and Sunday and then we came back on Monday. And our friends actually went with us, so it was a lot of fun. The kids had friends to hang out with. They also did a Mardi Gras, a bunch of Mardi Gras things were going on while we were there. So there was a parade, there was lots of food and Mardi Gras drinks all kinds of things so that was really cool too because we'd never seen that before and they actually have it going on i think february through march but my kids are obsessed with roller coasters and there were several new roller coasters that we rode this time that we've never gotten to ride on before so there's the Velocicoaster, which was my favorite um it's probably one of the scariest rides there um and then they also got to we also got to ride the hagrid's motorbike ride and that was the first time we've ever gotten to ride that one because they used to have a virtual line and we could never get a virtual line ticket so anyways it was a blast we had so much fun and we can't wait to go back <laughs> but i would love to hear about your favorite vacation spots or things that you and your family like to do together um, I just am always so interested and I feel like we constantly go to the same places all the time. I guess when you know what you love, you keep going, but maybe one day, like my kids have never been on an airplane, so I would love to take them somewhere sometime that we could all go as a family, but a good family friendly place. So if you guys have any recommendations, I'd love to hear those. No, I will fight, Okay, the kitchen is all clean, and I've got a little more <laughs> pet loving to share with you guys. Look at Ozzy. She loves Cooper. Actually, her and Riley love Cooper, but Freddie is not a fan. But okay, I'm actually about to do my floors with my Tenko, and I'm actually trying pine saw in it for the first time. I'm not sure if you're supposed to use this in the Tenko or not, so I would maybe read up on that if you have one. But I love pine saw for my floors. So I decided I'm gonna just try it and hopefully it doesn't mess anything up. And the solution that comes with it, it's great. It smells good too, but I still prefer the smell of pine saw whenever I'm done cleaning my house and done doing the floors. And it actually worked really, really well. And I just recently started using the Tenko. I think I've only used it in a few videos. That's how long I've had it is maybe, maybe two months. Um, maybe not quite two months, but it is a vacuum and mop. So it vacuums and mops at the same time. You cannot use them on your rugs or carpet though, because it will wet them. So you definitely have to have another vacuum for that. But if you have a ton of hardwood floors or you know, um, vinyl floors or whatever, then I think this thing is amazing for that. It, I love using it for quick cleanups as well as when I'm cleaning my entire hardwood floors. Now I do still use my Ocedar Spin Mop, but with that, I have to go through my entire downstairs and vacuum first and then go back and use my mop. So this definitely takes a lot less time. So I've been cleaning my floors a lot more since it doesn't take me as long. But I have this 
product linked below as well. It's the Tenko iFloor 2 and I got it from Walmart for $125, which is the cheapest that I've seen it anywhere. So check out the link if you're interested. So now all the floors are clean and I'm going to show you what all this thing sucked up. So you've got lots of dog hair, feathers from our pillows, leaves, all kinds of things in here. So I'm going to dump this out and then I fill my little clean water tank back up and then I do the self-cleaning mode on this mop so it will actually self-clean the brush roll and then I take these pieces back out and take them apart and clean them all out. So the Tenko does have some maintenance, but it doesn't take long at all to clean all of the parts. All right, so now my house is all clean, and the last thing I'm gonna do is the laundry that was actually started yesterday. It's been sitting in the laundry basket, but I figured I'm gonna go ahead and knock this laundry out. I'm not gonna let it sit in here all week. I'm gonna go ahead and fold it and put it away. All right, so everything on my to-do list is done. I can't believe I got it all checked off in two days. That doesn't ever happen for me. Usually it takes me a whole week to get all the things that I wanna get done. But I got it all done, and hopefully this video gave you the motivation to get some things done today as well. If you need even more cleaning motivation, if this just didn't do it for you, I've got more videos that I will put here on the screen as well as down in the description box. So go check those out. If you're new, be sure to subscribe before you leave. Say hey in the comments and introduce yourself. And I hope you guys have an amazing week, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hey guys and welcome back to another video on my channel and today's ultimate clean with me I'll be taking you along as I get my house back in order as a busy mom our house gets messy pretty quickly so in today's video I'll be cleaning up some everyday messes as well as doing a little bit of deep cleaning and I really hope that this video motivates you to get some things checked off of your to-do list today as well so get your lists ready and let's clean together 
And I would have what it takes Make you feel like you're safe Cause all I need is just some Someone like you Someone like you So for today's video, I'm actually starting up in our playroom, which as you can see is a huge disaster. So if you're new here, my name is Amy and I am a mom of two kiddos, Kaysen who is 10 and Gracie June who is eight. My son Kaysen really doesn't play with many toys anymore and the only thing that he has in here are video games pretty much. Um, but Gracie June, however, loves to play with her next generation dolls. She's got LOL dolls, little ponies, little pet shops, so all kinds of tiny toys. So when her and her friends come up here and play, they literally pull everything out and this is what it looks like after. Now, typically I do have her clean up her own mess, but because I was cleaning up here today and filming, I decided to go ahead and pick it all up, throw it into the baskets. There's really no rhyme or reason to how I organize things in here anymore. Now, when my kids were younger, I used to organize everything into bins and they had categories and we would have labels and everything for most of their toys. Um, but now, since most of them are just Gracie June's toys, there's really not much organization and everything just goes into a bin, especially if I'm picking up in here. Now, if she wants to like organize it when she comes up here and cleans, she does do that. So even though there is a huge mess, it really did not take long for me to pick everything up because I wasn't having to do much organization. I was just throwing everything into the baskets. Now, in case you're new, I did want to share a little bit more about myself. I live in a little town right outside of Savannah, Georgia, and my husband's name is Chance. We've been married for almost 14 years in June, and like I said, we have the, our two kiddos, and we also have a chocolate lab named Cooper. You'll see him occasionally pop in and out of my videos, and then we recently got three kitties, which I never in a million years thought would happen but it did. <laughs> Gracie June's very persistent. Now on my channel, I share lots of cleaning, organizing, home decor, and I also sprinkle in some recipes and other mom related content into my videos. So if you enjoy that kind of content, I hope you'll stick around and subscribe to my channel and introduce yourself down in the comments so that way we can get to know a little bit about you as well. And if you're a returning subscriber, I'm so glad that you're here for another video and I'm just so grateful that you take the time out of your busy schedules to come hang out with me. I truly wish that there was a way that I could hang out with all of you in real life because I just love getting to chat with you guys in the comments and it's so cool having so many friends all around the world. So thank you again for being here and for all of your support. Yeah, we could try to leave it all behind And we don't have to think about it Oh, baby, try to rest your mind I wanna catch, I wanna catch you Like every time that you fall Okay, no judgment zone here, but it has been forever since I have cleaned the window tracking here on this window and really any of the windows around our house. So I wanted to get this one done today since I was up here cleaning. So here you can see we've got a lot of mess caked on. This is the little view that you can see from our top window and people are always asking for more views of the yard and stuff. So I wanted to share that with y'all. But like you can see here, it has been a while since I've cleaned this. So I'm gonna start with vacuuming and then I'm actually gonna pull out my Bissell Steam Shot to clean the window tracking because all of that caked up dirt on there um, would be so much easier to get off with the steam shot. So here is a look, even after vacuuming, what it still looks like. All that stuff was kind of caked on there. 
So now I've got my steam shot. This thing is awesome. I'm just gonna spray it on and then I will use a microfiber cloth to wipe up the mess and it actually works really, really well without having to put a whole bunch of elbow grease into it. But I love this steam shot because you can seriously use this thing to clean so many things around your house from bathroom sinks to toilets, appliances, all kinds of things and it's super lightweight and easy to store. And in case you're interested, I will have a link to the Bissell Steam Shot down in my description box. And if you hear me mention anything else in this video as far as tools or products, I'll have links for those too in the description box. That way you can check them out and they're easy to find. Okay, so I wanted to show you all this little section that I just did with the steam shot versus what I haven't touched yet. So that really came out pretty quickly. Now in the very corners of the windowsill, I did have to spray multiple times. I had to get in there really good and clean it over and over, but still it was way better than trying to just use a spray to clean it out. So while I was cleaning, I decided to go ahead and take the screen out and try to get the outside part of the windowsill as well. Um, I never do this and I probably should do it more often. And honestly, I probably should have took that out first and just cleaned the whole windowsill at one time instead of in sections because even when I was cleaning out right there, like little pieces would come in and get back on where I'd already cleaned. So next time I'll definitely take out the screens first and those probably need to be cleaned outside. But as you can see, we're up on the second story of our house, so I couldn't just like drop it down or anything and have to run down and clean them out. But next time, I will take them out first and clean all of the window sills at once. So like I said earlier, all of my windows are in need of a good deep cleaning because it's been so long since I've cleaned like the window trackings of everything and also the outsides of our windows. So hopefully we can get that done during our spring cleaning, but for now I'll just be cleaning this one. Which speaking of spring cleaning, how many of you are ready for spring and warmer weather? Since I'm in Georgia, it really doesn't get too, too cold here, but let me tell you, I am ready for weather in the high 70s and 80s. I just love warm weather. <laughs> so this year, I was actually thinking about doing a spring cleaning series where maybe we could come up with a spring cleaning checklist and all of us could do our cleaning together. So you'll have to let me know if this sounds like something that you'd be interested in. And if it is, let me know what is on your must-do list for spring cleaning so that way I can make sure to include it in the spring cleaning checklist.
Now the last thing I need to do in here is um, vacuum, which I'm still using my Shark Uplight, my all-time favorite vacuum cleaner ever. It does have a cord, but it's super lightweight and super, super powerful. But I told you guys in a recent video that I think that this Shark has been dis discontinued, this particular model. And the only place that I've been able to find that they're still selling it is Walmart. But every single time I share it, it goes out of stock really quickly. So keep checking the link if you want to check out this vacuum. Um, it might be in stock. And if it is, then you better snag it fast because it goes out of stock, stock so quickly. But since this one is being discontinued and it's also out of stock constantly, I have been wanting to purchase a new Shark vacuum that's comparable to this one that works just as good, about the same price. And so I did order one and then Walmart refunded me because the vacuum I ordered was no longer available. So now I'm having to order a new one. So I will try it out for you guys and let you guys know if it's a good vacuum or not because if I'm sharing vacuums over here on my channel, I wanna make sure that you're able to purchase it. And I do wanna stick with the Shark brand just because I know that all of their vacuums are amazing. I really don't think you can go wrong with a Shark vacuum, but like I said, I wanna make sure that I get a vacuum that isn't going to break the bank, so it's gonna be an affordable vacuum and it works just as good as my Shark Uplight. But I promise I will let you guys know as soon as I have a new vacuum to try out and let you know how it works. Okay, so this is the next day and I still had a lot of cleaning to get done. So I'm gonna start here in my bedroom. I'm gonna make up my bed, tidy up in here, and then I'll head into the master bedroom, or bathroom, the master bathroom. <laughs> and I'm just gonna do a quick clean in there. I'm not doing a deep clean or anything today, but I'm just gonna kind of tidy up and wipe down the surfaces in there. So I don't know if you guys noticed the guitar in the playroom, but it's actually Chance's guitar, which is my husband. And he has been playing some songs up there for the kids over the last few days. And so we just left it up there, which is fine because we usually keep it under our bed, but we'll just keep it in the playroom for right now. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys the story about how Chance proposed to me. So it was during the summer. It was, um, I guess it was the summer before our senior year of college. So it was like it was in July, late July. We were about to go back to school in August for our senior year. And I was visiting Chance at his parents' house and it was right around his parents' wedding anniversary. So we went out to dinner to a really nice restaurant downtown Savannah. It's actually our favorite restaurant called Alligator Soul. So if you're ever in Savannah, I highly recommend it. But he brought his guitar with us and he said he'd written a song for his parents. So after we ate, we were in the restaurant and he pulls his guitar out. And I remember him saying that he was going to be singing a song that he wrote for his parents. And then he was going to sing a song that he wrote for me. But he says he said the opposite. I think he was just nervous and didn't know what he was saying. But so he starts to sing the song and the whole time I'm listening to him sing and the lyrics and I'm so confused why he would be singing these lyrics about his parents. And then all of a sudden in the song, he ends up asking me to marry him and he stops playing. He gets down on one knee. He pulls the ring box out of his pocket and drops it onto the floor and it rolls underneath the table. And so he has to go fishing under the table to find it, holds it back out, and asks me to marry him again. And it was the sweetest thing, but it was also hilarious at the same time. Obviously, I said yes, and it was, an, it was amazing. But another thing that was funny is shortly before he pulled out the guitar to sing, there was another couple getting engaged in the restaurant. So it made Chance even more nervous to propose to me because... Obviously, we just witnessed some other couple getting engaged, but 
it was awesome. And I just love how it ended up turning out. Now I'm moving upstairs to quickly take off the bedding on Gracie June's bed. I wanted to wash this on this day, so I'm gonna throw that in the washing machine. But if you guys have any fun proposal stories, like either you, for you or someone that you know of, y'all let us know in the comments. I always love hearing a good proposal story. <laughs> All right, so now I've got a little laundry folding motivation for you. I had lots of laundry to fold and put away, so I'm going to do that really quickly. And then I will head into the kitchen to get started on cleaning in there. So as I'm folding clothes, I wanted to tell you guys about something that's been on my heart the last few weeks. Um, I came across this Facebook post and it was talking about pretty much how much simpler life was before social media. So before Pinterest, we didn't have all these elaborate birthday parties. And before Instagram, we didn't feel like we had to have our houses look like it was staged to sell at all times. And before YouTube and Extreme Clean With Me videos, we didn't feel like our houses were as messy as we do now because we see the houses that are getting cleaned to perfection. And so I totally get what the Facebook post was saying and I do feel like things were definitely much simpler before we had all this access to social media and seeing so much into other people's lives and feeling like we have to live up to the same standards. But when you guys come to my channel, I never, ever, ever want you to feel like my house is immaculate and the cleanest house ever and my mess isn't as big as your mess and I just don't want you to feel like that. I do want you to remember that I am only showing you bits and pieces of my house while I'm filming. So you might see one room is a mess. I get it all cleaned up and the space gets cleaned right, but... Maybe I didn't show you the bathroom that day, or maybe I didn't show you my office, which <laughs> is typically the messiest room in my house, and it's also the first room you walk in, you see when you walk in, so it's awful, but that's where I usually throw all of my boxes and just random stuff, so it stays really, really messy majority of the time, but you don't always get to see that. So... I did want to take the time to just tell you guys that you don't always see every single mess that I have in my house at one time or anybody's mess in an Extreme Clean With Me video. Also, I'm not cleaning my entire house in one day and I don't think that most people do it that way because we're so busy and that's okay. So some people may only have one day during the week where they can get it all cleaned and that's what works for them. And that's what they do. But I don't think that the majority of us are cleaning the entire house and deep cleaning it all in one day. We try to sprinkle whatever cleaning we can into our schedule, however we can make that happen. Also, another point I wanted to make was that someone commented on my channel the other day that my videos are not relatable because my house is not really that messy and I'm just cleaning up random dishes in the sink that don't take long to clean and so I wanted to remind you guys that everyone is at different stages of life so like I said earlier my kids are 8 and 10 so they're not going to be as messy as someone who maybe has toddlers or a baby and has tons of toys lying around because like I said, my son really doesn't even play with toys anymore unless it's outdoor stuff and video games. So I don't have as much as a mess to clean up typically because I don't have as many items whereas someone with a baby, there are a ton of toys that they have to keep out continuously, maybe even bigger items. So you're going to see more of that kind of mess with babies than you are with an 8 and a 10 year old. But that's the beauty of YouTube. And the fact that there are so many amazing women that post cleaning motivation videos and mom life content on their channels is because you can find someone 
who is at the same stage of life as you or around the same stage and you can relate to them and hopefully you get motivated from them and pick up some tips and tricks that they share in their videos and I really hope that everyone can find someone that they can relate to. But on the other hand, I also have people <laughs> who comment and say that my house is a disaster all the time and that they can't believe that I let my house get this way. So there's going to be people with different opinions about people no matter what. But I really just hope when you come here that you feel motivated and encouraged. And I never, ever want you to compare your mess to mine and think that you have to get as much cleaned as I do or that your clean is not good enough. Everyone is at different stages of life and has different work schedules and everyone just has to find what works for them. And I also want to say that you guys are such a blessing to me and even though I just talked about a comment that maybe was not so nice, I get way more encouraging comments than I do the mean ones. And from the bottom of my heart, I thank you guys to everyone who leaves an encouraging word because you may not know it, but all of those comments truly make me feel loved and special and seriously make my day every single time that I read them. So thank you again for being here. And like I said, I just hope that you feel encouraged when you leave here. And if you don't, I hope you find someone on YouTube that can make you feel motivated and that you can just relate to. Because like I said, there's a ton of amazing YouTubers in this little niche that we're in that make cleaning videos or mom life content that I think you will love. Okay, so now I'm quickly cleaning up my dishes and like I said, I don't have a ton of dishes to clean because typically we clean up our kitchen at night and load our dishwasher and that's when the biggest messes are happening in my kitchen is when we're cooking and everybody's eating and usually I film my videos during the day while the kids are at school because after school it's so hard for me to do that because we have sports almost every day of the week. And actually, I think it's Monday through Thursday. And then a lot of times we have Sunday, Saturdays and Sundays, we have sports as well. So a lot of evenings, it's just really, really hard for me to clean and film because it does take longer for me to film videos um, or to clean when I'm filming versus when I'm just cleaning it up really quickly. But I'm thinking about trying, I'm going to attempt <laughs> to film a cleaning video maybe one day during the week in the evening so that way you can kind of see how we do things and how messy our kitchen actually does get. But I also try to do a lot of like meal prep and things earlier in the day since we are gone for sports in the evening. So I don't know, we're just at a different stage right now where it's super, super busy in the evenings and we have to find ways to make it work for us. The Okay, we're at my favorite part of cleaning the kitchen, which is when I start cleaning the wood countertop. That means that I am pretty much done, and all that needs to be done now is a quick vacuum, which I'm going to go clean the living room, just tidy up in there first, and then I'm going to do a quick vacuum with our cordless vacuum. But y'all will have to let me know, what is your favorite part of cleaning the kitchen, or maybe the part that you don't mind the most? All right, now I'm going to tidy up here in the living room really quick. And I was laughing when I was picking up in here. I was like, 
thinking how many jackets and pullovers and everything were on the back of our couch right here. I think I counted eight total, and that's between all of us. We had some, uh, well, there was a sweatshirt, and then there were a few pullovers and a jacket, but we don't have like a mudroom or anything, and so we don't really have anywhere to hang our jackets, and my kids' bedrooms are upstairs, so typically like they take them off and throw them either over the chair at our breakfast table or they'll throw them over the end of the couch, and we all do this. So anyways, I had to pick all those things up and take them upstairs, and now I'm going to do a quick vacuum here in the kitchen, the living room, and also in our bedroom. Okay, now I've headed back upstairs and I'm gonna clean up here in the kids' bedrooms. They weren't too messy, but I needed to dust in here anyways. So I'm just tidying up, dusting, and getting their rooms cleaned. Now, as I'm looking at Gracie June's bookshelf, I really, really need to declutter some of these books. And so I'll probably end up giving some to my nephew and a few of my teacher friends, but I was thinking, do you guys include like decluttering on your spring cleaning checklist or do you consider that just something totally different that you should do at the, that at the beginning of the year or throughout the year? Because I also need to declutter their clothes for spring and I typically do that like February, March, so that way we can start putting in their new spring clothes because I always find that my kids size up around springtime. So before I get a whole bunch of new spring clothes to put in here, I do need to start decluttering. So that's on my list of things to do as well. City lights are making me wanna be something else than I'm meant to. Spending time reminiscing on what it used to be, not letting Okay, so this was really funny. I did a poll on Instagram the other day while I was actually filming this video, and I asked over on Instagram, how many of your kids, or do your kids make their beds first thing in the morning before they go to school or not? And 88%, I think it was like 88% of you said that they do not make their beds. So y'all let me know down in the comments, do your kids make their beds every single morning or not? And there's no in between. Either they make their bed every single day of the week in the morning or they don't. And this is a no judgment zone. Either way, I just wanna know whether your kids make their beds or not first thing in the morning. And then you guys can kind of read through the comments and see what the typical answer is. And I will tell you guys my answer. So you just saw me make up Kaysen's bed. And my kids typically do not make their beds every single morning. Now on the weekends, they do make their beds in the morning. On weekdays, 
they do not. During the summer, they make their beds in the morning, but during the school week, we have to be out of the house by 7.10 in the morning to get to school on time. So I do not make them make their beds in the morning just because they have to get up, they have to eat, they have to brush their teeth, get dressed, and do all the things first thing in the morning, and they're a little bit slow. So I just don't wanna add one more thing right before school. And maybe that's a bad parenting decision. I don't know. But that's just what works for us. But during the summer and on the weekends, they do make their beds. They have a little bit more, you know, time to get things done in the morning. So that is typically how it works in our house. And it's funny, though, because both of our kids have the Betty's bedding. So it really takes like two seconds for them to actually make their beds. But like I said, I just don't want one more thing for them to have to worry about or for me to have to go check on before school starts in the morning. Now, when they get a little bit older, I don't know, Kason's starting sixth grade next year. So maybe if he wakes up with his alarm and actually gets up, we used to use an alarm for him and he would sleep straight through it. It wasn't like he was, you know, just being lazy. He would just sleep through the alarm. So Maybe if he's able to use an alarm and get up in the morning and just get all this stuff done before we have to leave, that could be part of his morning routine. But for right now, I'm not making them do that in the mornings before school. Um, So y'all have to let me know. And if you do have a system that works for you to where you are able to get them to make their beds in the mornings, y'all will have to let us know that too. So here you can see I'm putting Gracie June's bedding back onto her bed. It's all nice and clean. And I love this bedding because it is only two pieces. It zips up, so it's super easy for kids to make their beds and make it look nice because you know how sometimes when kids are learning to make their beds, it's really hard to make it look the way you like it to look. (laughs) But with Betty's, it just, it's super simple. All they do is just zip it straight up and put their pillows on their bed and they're good to go. So If you're interested in trying out the Betty's bedding for your kids, I do have a 20% off coupon code down in the description box. You're definitely going to want to use it because this bedding isn't cheap, but it's really good quality. And my kids have had them, I think they've had these bedding sets for like three years now, and they're still in really good condition. So check out that coupon code in the description box. Hey y'all and welcome to today's Extreme Clean With Me where I'll be starting my spring cleaning series. I have some regular everyday cleaning in this video along with my spring cleaning checklist that you'll actually be able to download and use for yourself if you'd like to. I'll be spring cleaning in my bedroom today and I'm also starting on a little bedroom makeover. The makeover part took me so long that I'm actually breaking it into two parts. So you'll get to see most of the makeover today in this video, and then the rest of the makeover will actually be in my next video. I hope this video gets you excited or at least motivated to get started on some spring cleaning and tackling those to-dos on your checklist today. Now let's get into this cleaning video. So to start today's cleaning off, I am actually doing some everyday cleaning. As you can see, we've got a lot of stuff just thrown on our kitchen counter, and this is what it typically (laughs) looks like after the weekend. And I'll be honest, I don't do a ton of cleaning on the weekends. We're constantly in and out of the house, and I just don't get a lot done, which means a lot of stuff just gets piled up. But... Today I am putting everything back where it belongs, unloading the dishes from the dishwasher, the clean dishes, and then reloading it with the dirty dishes. Then I'll also be wiping down the counters and appliances. Basically just getting my kitchen back in order. 
So if this is your first time watching one of my videos, then I just wanted to say hey, and I'm so glad that you're here. This community is amazing. My name is Amy Darley, and I was an elementary school teacher before I became a stay-at-home mom, and then I started my YouTube channel. I've been creating videos for a little over four years now, and I absolutely love it. I share tons of cleaning motivation and have learned so much about cleaning myself over the last four years, especially from all of you. I also share lots of decluttering, organizing, recipes, and even DIYs here on my channel. In fact, if you haven't seen my last video, you definitely need to go check it out. It's got literally all of those things in one video, and the bags that I DIY'd took me about five minutes to make each of them, and I got all the supplies at wholesale pricing, and I share where I got all of that stuff. So if you wanna know how to make those bags for yourselves, it would be great for gifts, or of course yourself, um, be sure to check out that, that video. The bags that I made go for like $35 each on Etsy, and I made them for less than $15. Anyways, off track. I hope you guys enjoy my videos and decide to subscribe and join our community here. And if you do, please be sure to say hey in the comments and introduce yourself so that way we can get to know you. And of course, welcome back to another video to all of my returning subscribers. You guys are amazing. I'm so glad you're here for another video. And today I'm gonna give you guys a this or that question. And of course, if you're a new subscriber, you can answer the this or that question in the comments as well, but we do wanna get to know you, so introduce yourself too. But the this or that question that I wanted to ask today is would you rather fold laundry or put the laundry away? These are always so much fun, so I can't wait to read all of the comments. I might be dreaming. I might be dreaming. You're stirring things up. My heart is beating. My heart is beating. I won't let go. I can't say no. My heart is yours, so I say here we go. All right, so now that the kitchen is all tidied up, I'm gonna start wiping down some surfaces in here. You saw me wipe down our breakfast table earlier and I actually used the Jaws Multi-Surface Spray for that. And now I'm going to use the Jaws Kitchen Cleaner for my appliances. And I've talked about Jaws a lot over the last few years and I'm still in love with the, these cleaning products and still highly recommend them. So you're actually going to see me use these products throughout the entire video, but I love these products for so many different reasons. JAWS stands for Just Add Water System, so you can probably guess by the name that these products come with a water bottle and a refill pod, and all you do is add water to the bottle. So because you can use these bottles over and over again, and the refill pods are so small, I'm able to stock up on all of my cleaners without using a ton of space to store them. It cuts out on plastic waste and it also saves me a ton of money. Two refill pods are less than $7, but I also have a discount code DARLY25 where you can actually get an extra 25% off your order anytime that you shop the JAWS website. I know a lot of people are sensitive to smells, so I love the fact that these products do not have a very strong smell to them. They smell fresh and clean, but are not overpowering. Now on their website, you can purchase different cleaning kits that come with lots of different products. The ultimate cleaning kit comes with six different cleaners. That includes the bottle for each, two refill pods for each cleaner, and a seven pack of color-coded microfiber cloths but you can also purchase each of these products separately on their website too. So I get asked all the time what my favorites are. I love them all, but I'd have to say that the kitchen cleaner, the glass cleaner, and the granite cleaner are my absolute favorites. 
If you already have Jaws, let us know in the comments which one is your favorite so that way people can check out the comments and kind of see what your preferences are too. Now, like I said, I'll be cleaning with these products throughout the entire video, so you'll get to see how I use them in different areas of the home, on different surfaces, and I will make sure to leave a link to the JAWS website in my description box and the promo code DARLY25, so that way you can get that 25% discount if you want to check out these products. All right, I am done with the kitchen. I've moved on to the living room and I'm just tidying up in here before we head into starting on this spring cleaning checklist. All right, so before we move on to the next day of cleaning where I actually do get started on my spring cleaning checklist, Chance had gotten home from work and so I wanted him to help me put together these nightstands that I got from Target and they were so easy to put together. We actually timed ourselves putting together the second one and it only took us 14 minutes. So, like I said, I got these from Target. The color of these was a little bit darker than what I expected based on the picture on the website, but I still think they're beautiful and they're really good quality. Now, I'm not gonna take you through the whole process of me putting them together. I just followed the instructions. So I'm gonna lay out all the stuff on the floor and do a quick transition so you can see what they look like after we got done putting them together. And here they are. They're so pretty. And like I said, really good quality too. All right, it's the next day. I'm going to make my bed. I've got some laundry to fold there in that basket, but I actually shoved it in my closet and didn't even touch it because I really wanted to get started on this spring cleaning checklist. And Cooper's just gonna nap here while I get started on all this stuff. But also Cooper, which is our dog right there, by the way, I guess I didn't introduce him to you. He's our chocolate lab. Um, he's been shedding like crazy lately. He already sheds a ton anyways, but he's been shedding more than normal right now. So there's a lot of dog hair to vacuum up. Another thing with Labradors is you have to clean their ears out frequently. So this is kind of gross, but you'll see a couple of brown spots there on our rug. And this is from Cooper rubbing the inside of his ears on our rug. I know it's gross, <laughs> but I'm going to be cleaning those spots in a little bit too. Also, later in the video, I actually start taking all the furniture out of here. And I did not realize how gross this rug actually was. So wait till you see the color difference of the part of the rug that's been under our bed versus the rest of the rug. It is pretty disgusting. Okay, so here is the spring cleaning checklist that I created. Today we're going to start on the bedroom and you can see I have everything listed here for what we need to do in the bedroom. Now this did take me two days to get through all the spring cleaning here in my bedroom. So if it takes you a little bit longer and you can't get the whole room done in one day, that's okay. Some of you might want to do a little bit here and there and throughout the week. And then some people may want to get it all done in one day, but for me, I got done as much as I could on this day, and then after the kids got home from school, I had to kind of pause where I was at, take them to all their practices and things, and then we were running around town, so I had to split my cleaning into two days, but I will actually have a printable down in the description box in case you want to print this checklist off, and over the next couple of months, I'm going to be filming as I get all of my spring cleaning done around the house, so if you want to do it with me, um, this week I'm doing my bedroom. Next week I'll be starting on the kids' bedrooms and I'll just take you guys along as 
I'm getting all my spring cleaning done and I would love it if you guys wanted to do this with me. And actually over on Facebook, on our Team Darley Facebook page, and then also on Instagram, which is amy.darley, I will be doing some fun challenges where you can post pictures or just um, maybe even comment what you got done. So y'all be sure to check those challenges out and I think it'll be a lot of fun. So the first thing on my list was to dust the fan blades. And so you guys just saw I took a pillowcase and glided it over each fan blade. So that way when I dust it off, all of the dust falls into the pillowcase instead of all over my bed and all over the floor. So I love this little hack. I just empty the dust into the trash can and rewash these pillowcases over and over again. And these are actually old pillowcases, so I only use them for dusting our fan blades. Now I'm just going around and dusting all the furniture here in my room with the Jaws multi-surface spray and a microfiber cloth. And later in the video, I will actually be pulling out the two nightstands and the headboard. And we ended up giving those items away for free to a few people on Facebook. <music> Now the dresser and chest I did not end up pulling out in this video because I went looking for new ones but I just haven't found what I want yet and actually all the furniture in this room is about 14 years old. The nightstand and the headboard are still in good condition but these two pieces here actually have some drawers that are very warped and I have clothes falling from one drawer into the other and the drawers get stuck a ton. So that's why we actually started this whole makeover in this room in the first place is because I knew we needed to get a new dresser and chest. So it's funny because I've found a ton of other stuff like all the other pieces that I want for this room except for something to replace these two pieces. But hopefully I can find something soon and I do have a few questions to ask for you guys to give me your opinion on things later in the video when you see some of the other furniture that I put in here. So our mirror right here is actually new. We've had it for a few weeks and I actually gave you guys a little sneak peek in my last video of this mirror. But I got it from Target. I'm pretty sure that they only sell this one online and I love how big it is. I can actually see my full outfit in this mirror, so that's nice. Um, I'm just going to wipe this mirror down with the Jaws Glass Cleaner, which is another one of my favorite Jaws cleaners. I use this on all of our mirrors and all of our windows throughout the house. So good, baby. So good, so good. Every single day was found a part I wanted. Okay, I skipped over our TV, so I'm just spraying a little bit of the Jaws Cleaner straight onto the microfiber cloth, and then I wipe our TV down from there. And then I'm also using a little duster because you wouldn't believe how much dust accumulates on the back of your TV. Now I'm going to be cleaning the windows and shutters and I have not cleaned the window tracking in here on these windows in forever. So I am going to start with vacuuming up the windowsill first and then I'm going to use my Bissell steam shot to break up all that dirt and grime that has been stuck on here forever and then I'm going to wipe all of it up with a microfiber cloth. Here you can see what it looks like after I've vacuumed and now I'm going to pull out my Bissell steam shot and honestly this makes cleaning spaces like this so much easier for me. So when there are teeny tiny little cracks that are hard to get into the steam shot is awesome for that and it also makes it to where I just don't have to do a ton of scrubbing either. So all that caked up like dirt and dust and everything that's been sitting on here the steam shot will just break it down super simple and I can just wipe it up with that microfiber cloth after. When you're around, I know it's true the way you make me feel 
feeling so good, baby. So good, so good. Every single day was fun, but I want to be with you. Baby, take my hand, hold it tight, just like you do. Feel so good, so good. Now, I noticed a few little brown spots, so I pulled out my magic eraser and cleaned those spots. And then when I was kind of bending over, I noticed that I didn't get any of those spots in that crack right there which I could have easily blown that out with the steam shot but since I had the magic eraser it was wet it was really easy to get into those cracks so that's what I used here to clean up this love it how you love the electric like you do love it how you love the electric always you Now I'm just using a duster for the tops of my window sills and then also our shutters here. Now if I do see any spots, then I will use that multi-purpose cleaner to kind of wipe down any spots that need to be wiped down. And then for my windows, I'm gonna use the Jaws cleaner again. Now all of the windows in my house are the windows that will actually pull up and pull straight into the room so you can clean the outside from the inside of your house, if that makes sense. Um, I've shown that in the windows in our playroom before where I just pull them in and clean the outside of our windows at the same time that I'm cleaning the inside. But these windows here in this room, for some reason, the rest of the house I can pull them through, but the shutters are a little bit further in on these windows, if that makes sense. I don't know if this makes any sense to you guys, but because of the shutters, I'm not able to pull the window in. So on these, I'm just gonna have to clean the outside of the windows when we get started on our spring cleaning outside. Which, by the way, on our spring cleaning checklist, I did not include any of the outdoor cleaning yet. I'm going to actually make a whole nother checklist that's just for outside because we have a lot to do outside. And so I figured it would make sense to do two separate checklists, one for the inside and one for the outside. And we definitely won't get started on any of that stuff outside until the entire house has been cleaned inside. All right, we are starting on the other window. You can see the tracking on this one is just as dirty, so we're gonna repeat that entire process on this window. So spring cleaning has me curious, what is the weather like where you are? So for me, I live right outside of Savannah, Georgia. So, you know, it doesn't get too, too cold here, and so it's been in the 80s this past week, but this weekend, we're, we have a cold front coming through. It's about to start raining probably later today as I'm editing this, and then it's supposed to rain through like Saturday, and it's supposed to get so cold on Saturday. Well, I say so cold, but so cold for us, it'll drop back down into the 50s, and then hopefully like throughout the next week, it's gonna start getting warmer again. But I was so ready to get started on this spring cleaning with this beautiful weather. Um, I don't know. I was just really excited about it. So y'all will have to let me know what the weather's like where you're at and when will you start on spring cleaning. I know that, you know, even if the weather's not nice, you can still start on some spring cleaning and kind of get ahead of the game. And that way, when it is beautiful outside for you, like once it warms up, Maybe you'll be done with most of your spring cleaning and you'll just be able to get started on the outside a little quicker. Now 
Now the last thing I'm going to do on this day is a quick vacuum because I was out of time and had to go get the kids from the bus stop. And then like I said earlier, we had some sports and stuff after school that we had to go to. But this vacuum here is the Shark Uplight. I have been talking about it for many years now. A bunch of you guys have this vacuum and can attest to the fact that it is amazing. It's definitely the best vacuum that I've ever had. Um, but it, I thought it was going to be discontinued and I noticed that it keeps coming back into stock on the Walmart website and then it'll go out of stock really quickly after it comes back in stock. And the last time I checked, it was actually $199 on the Walmart website, which is an amazing deal because like I said, this is the best vacuum I've ever had. Now, I still want to get a new shark to try out for you guys, but I ordered one it was, and then it went out of stock, so they refunded me my money. So I'm just trying to make sure that I get one that's not going to be discontinued anytime soon. And so hopefully I can get one before the end of the month and share it with y'all. But I also want to make sure I, ha I use it for a little bit to make sure that it's worth the money before I recommend it and that it works just as well as this vacuum that I have here. But if I ever see this vacuum in stock, I'll be sure to share it on Instagram, Facebook, and maybe even in the community tab so you can jump on it and try to get it before it goes back out of stock. All right, so these are all the things I got done on day one of our spring cleaning checklist. And then we're going to move into... The next day for spring cleaning, I'm going to actually get a lot more done in here. Um, and then we're going to start pulling out some of this furniture. I did have Chance, actually, while I was taking Gracie June to cheer the day before, I did have him go ahead and vacuum our mattress. So he did that and also put our bedding back on our bed after we washed it. So this is the next day, and we are going to start with spot cleaning this rug here. Now, for spot cleaning my rugs, I always use the Roco and Roxy Stain and Odor Eliminator. This stuff is amazing. It works so good. If you have pets or kids or you just want to make sure that you can easily clean up little spots on your rugs or carpet, then I would highly recommend getting some of this stuff. I do have it linked in my description box. Um, but I also got their carpet cleaner. So it's like an oxy carpet cleaner, which you'll see me use a little bit later in the video too. Wild in the moments like I'm walking on air, tripping over roses every time that you're there. I'm losing my mind. Oh, and I'm hot over the moon. You know that you got me good. I'm not even mad at me. Okay, I am taking the bedding back off of my bed. That way we can start pulling out all this furniture and I can start shampooing this rug. Like I said, I did not know how dirty this rug was until I moved the furniture out of here and it was pretty gross. So here's one last look at this furniture and then Chanson, a friend of ours, helped move it all out and it's gone. And here you can see, look how dirty this rug is. I, that's so gross. I don't even understand it. But I also had a few places here on the wall that you can see we have to patch up because when we took the pictures off the wall, it took some paint off. And then look at all the dust that was back here, all the dust and dirt and dog hair that's back here after moving our furniture. So I'm gonna get all of this stuff cleaned up. I feel like I'm All right, so before I pull out my carpet cleaner, I did go over this rug 
several times with the vacuum just to get as much dog hair and dirt and dust and everything out of this rug as possible before I pulled out my carpet cleaner. And you'll see, look at all that dust and dog hair and everything that got pulled up the first time through. And then I went back a second time and still got more of that up. Now I've pulled out my Bissell carpet cleaner and I'm using that Roco and Roxy carpet shampoo. And I'm gonna try to get up as much as I can on this carpet, but even when I got done, you'll see, you could still see a difference in the color from where it had been, the part had been covered by our bed versus the part that was uncovered. But this is why I like to shampoo our rugs frequently. Now the one in our living room and the one in our entryway, I shampoo those all the time. Most of the time I'm having to shampoo it because of a dog accident or something, but I do like to shampoo them frequently, but they are also not covered by furniture. So that's the difference in this rug is I've never actually shampooed this rug. I don't think, I don't think I've ever shampooed this rug. Um, and Chance was actually filling in those little patches while I was doing this, but this is why it's a good thing to shampoo your carpets or your rugs a lot more frequently than you think because look how dirty it was and I had no idea that it was this dirty. And as I'm running the carpet cleaner, I was going around and picking up dog hair that was still clumping out of our carpet, even though I've already vacuumed it several times, but that's how much our dog sheds. He sheds a ton and we can never get all of the dog hair up. Now this rug is a lot lighter than all the other rugs that are in our house. So obviously it's gonna show dirt a little bit more and it's gonna discolor a little bit easier. So we did end up going with a darker rug in here, which I'm excited about now that I've seen this. Um, but when we got done, honestly, this rug still did not look great. I think it would look even better if we were to take it outside and actually use our pressure washer on it and go over it several times and let it dry out in the sun. But since we're replacing this rug anyways, we decided not to mess with it. But look at how dirty the water was after cleaning this rug. I can't believe how gross it was. And here's a quick look at the before and the after of the rug. And it was still wet. So I do think it actually cleaned up a little bit more than I thought it did. Um, but like I said, if we were to take it outside and pressure wash it, I think we could get even more of the color back to normal. Now I'm quickly going to wipe down our baseboards in this area since I didn't get to do it the day before. And I'm just using a multi-surface, the same Jaws multi-surface spray with my microfiber cloth. And then now I'm going to do a quick mop in here before we start bringing in the new stuff. Is there anybody out there? I've been driven through the darkness Looking for the sunrise Sometimes it feels like we're so far away Trying to keep our heads above the way All right, floors are dry. So now we are starting to bring in all the new stuff. I'm so excited. This is the rug that we picked out for this room and I absolutely love it. I will actually link all of the things that we ended up getting for this room in my description box in case you wanna check any of that stuff out. But we ended up putting little weights on the edges just to keep it, you know, help it settle on the floor. And then this was one of the things I was so excited about. It's called a Circa bed wrap. And I've talked about it several times before, but I absolutely hated our bed skirt. It would get so gross, get dog hair all over it. And it was just so hard to constantly pull it off and have to wash it and put it back on. It was just a pain. So I got this. I know that it'll probably still get dog hair on it, but I can easily vacuum it up instead of having to pull the whole thing off to wash it. So all you do is you take the wrap, you unroll it around your bed frame, your box springs, and then you put the little straps together, tighten it up, 
and it looks amazing. So the Circa bed wrap is actually available on Amazon. They do have a website too, but they're also on Amazon and they come in so many different colors. And here it is all on the bed. It looks so good and I'm so excited for it. Okay, so the only issue we ran into is that here you can see our mattress is way too long for our bed. So I messed up a while back and ordered a California King mattress when I got this mattress, but it worked fine with the other headboard, but with our new headboard, which I got from Target by the way, um, it sits a little bit further up and so it hangs off the bed really far. So I'm definitely gonna have to get a new mattress. But here you can see we went ahead and put all of our bedding on and it doesn't look too, too bad, but we will be getting a new mattress soon. Now we have our nightstands in here, which I shared with you guys earlier. I also got those from Target. So I did a quick dusting of these and then I'm actually gonna get started on cleaning our walls and doors. So it would have been ideal for me to go ahead and clean the walls before we put the furniture in here, but because Chance had um, painted those little spots on the wall. I wanted to make sure all of the paint was dry before I started messing with the walls. And we were in a time crunch, so we had to get all the furniture in here and everything. It was actually on my birthday when I was filming all of this. So we were going out to dinner with our family and we had a lot to get done before we could start getting ready for that. So Anyways, I'm using this little tool here. It's got like a duster on the end of it. So I'm dusting the walls first and then I'm gonna change out the piece that goes on the end and actually put the other material on there. It's like a microfiber cloth. So that way I can spot clean the walls with this new cleaner that I got. And I can also clean the doors with this. And this little tool would also be great for dusting your baseboards, especially if you have a bad back. I feel like it would be so easy to just go around your whole house and dust your baseboards with this. So now I'm changing the piece on the end. This is the microfiber cloth piece, which makes it easy to use a cleaner and actually scrub down your walls. And then this is the product that I found. I saw it all over TikTok. So I decided to get it. It is a little bit pricey. I think it was like, close to $20 on Amazon, but I figured I don't really spot clean very often on the walls, so it should last me a really long time. It smells good, and I feel like it worked really good too. So like I said, I spot cleaned the walls, and then I also went back and cleaned all of our doors with this. Now here you can see there were a few spots that was easier for me to just spray it onto either directly onto the door or onto a microfiber cloth and scrub with my hand just because it was more at my level and it was a little bit harder to use the big long tool to do that. So I did spot clean a few areas by hand with a cloth. Now I've never been really good at cleaning my walls. I've always dusted them, but never really cleaned them with a cleaner. So y'all will have to let me know your favorite cleaner. I do like this stuff, but like I said, it is expensive. So I couldn't imagine cleaning my walls all the time with this. But my friend Jamie from Jamie's Journey, she actually uses the Zep wall cleaner. It's like a foaming wall cleaner. So you can see where you spray it on and you can see exactly where you're cleaning it and everything. Um, but I, I'm always worried about taking the paint off of our walls with wall cleaners. So y'all let me know what your favorites are and how often should we be cleaning our walls? I need to know this. <laughs> all right, so now I'm done with all the spring cleaning for my bedroom except for decluttering the drawers, which I figured I would do when I got the new furniture in here so that way I can organize them and everything and I'm not doing it twice. We actually did our closet in a video a few weeks ago, so that's done. And I decided for my checklist, I'm gonna use a different color pen for each of the bedrooms. So my bedroom is done in blue, and then when I go do Gracie June's room, I will check it all off in like pink or something, and then do a different color for Kaysen and so on. So that way I'm not having to have a bazillion of the same checklist um, printed off. But glad to have this done. Now the last thing I'm gonna do in here since our rugs are all settled is put these little rug grippers on. I have these same ones on the rugs in our 
entryway and in our living room and these things are awesome. I got them off of Amazon. They're pretty cheap. So I'll link those in the description box too in case you guys need some good rug grippers. All right, so all the spring cleaning for bedroom number one is done, yay. We are not done with the makeover in here. However, we're still getting stuff for in here. I'm thinking it's looking really good so far. I'm obsessed with this rug. I'm obsessed with this bed wrap. It looks so much better than that bed skirt that we had in here before. Um, I wanna get some fun like pillows and other blankets maybe to go on this bed to kind of draw in the colors from the rug. We're also gonna put the same lamps that we had in here before. I'm just trying a little DIY on them to change the color up a little bit. So I'll share that DIY as I do it. Hopefully it'll be in next week's video. Hopefully I'll have them done because we do need some lamps in here. Also need to put everything back into our nightstands that we pulled out before, but I'll be organizing that and I'll share that with you guys too. And then I also have a question for you guys. I need your advice. Now that you have seen the rug, you've seen the new headboard and the nightstand, what color in the new mirror, what color do you guys suggest I should get for the new dresser and chest? Now that I've seen everything in here, I do like the white, which this is a little bit more of a gray color, so I definitely don't wanna go with gray because of our walls, but I do like the white. I thought about black, but a lot of you were telling me that black shows dust really, really bad, that it's really pretty, but it shows dust really bad, and I don't know if I wanna deal with that. And then I also thought about maybe like an oak color, like the color around the mirror here. The only problem with that is I feel like I would probably have to do a DIY myself because I have not found anything that is the oak color that is big enough because I definitely don't want to go any smaller than what I already have because we have all of our clothes in here and we want to make sure that we have enough room. So what do you guys think? Do you think white or do you think maybe something more of that oak? color. Oh, and I also still want to get something to go over our bed. I found a really pretty canvas that I loved from Target, but it's out of stock. So I'm still looking for something to go there as well. But this is all we have done so far. I hope you guys love it. Hey guys, and welcome to video number two in my spring cleaning series. In today's video, I've got some everyday cleaning, some extreme deep cleaning, and even a Costco and Publix grocery haul. I hope today's video gives you tons of motivation to get all the things checked off of your to-do list today, and hopefully you feel like you're hanging out with a friend while you get it all done. Good morning friends and welcome back to another video. This is video number two of my spring cleaning series. So if you have not seen video number one, be sure to check it out. I shared lots of everyday cleaning in that video, but I also started on my spring cleaning checklist. I talked all about this checklist in that video and in case you haven't downloaded it yet, I will leave a link to the checklist in the description box so that way you can go download it for yourself for free and you can use it and get all of your spring cleaning done with me. 
Also, in my first spring cleaning video, I shared the start of our bedroom makeover and I had planned on finishing it in this video, but I fell a little bit behind this past week because I dropped a robot vacuum on my toe and broke it. So, that put me a little bit behind and I'm feeling much better now and I'm able to walk around, so I will be getting tons of cleaning done today. So today we're starting in my bedroom because I had a lot of cleaning to get done, which you're going to see in just a few minutes. My house was a wreck after the weekend, so to get myself motivated, I wanted to go ahead and start here in my bedroom because I knew I didn't have a lot to do in here, and seeing one room clean always gets me motivated to get the rest of the house clean as well. So Gracie June made me this sweet little coaster a while back. It's supposed to be me, her, and our dog Cooper, and so I'm putting it here for to hold my coffee on my nightstand. And while I'm right here, I wanted to show you guys my little charging station that Chance got me for my birthday. I used to have a different one and none of the pieces folded down like this, so it made it really hard to travel with. So I love that this folds up super flat, makes it super easy to just throw in a bag and take with you. And it actually charges my earbuds, my watch, and my iPhone. So I'll link it down in the description box in case you want to check it out. But Chance also has a charging station that's very similar except it charges his phone from the back. So it lays down and charges instead of from like being plugged in. But I couldn't do that with my iPhone because I have the loopy case on mine so it won't lay fat, flat. But anyways, we both love our charging station so I'll link them both in the description box. Now, like I said, I didn't have a ton of cleaning to do here in my bedroom today, but I did notice some smudge marks on my mirror, so I wanted to wipe that down. And then I will be vacuuming because I like to do this pretty much every other day just to keep up with all the dog hair. All right, we have one room clean and I'm gonna go ahead and head upstairs and get Gracie June's bedding so that I can put it in the wash machine, get that started. And then I'll actually be going back up there later today to get started on spring cleaning in her bedroom. But for right now, I really needed to get the downstairs clean because it is a disaster and you will see what I'm talking about in just a second. All right, so here's a quick look at our downstairs right now. It was just a mess. We had been at baseball all weekend, and when we have baseball tournaments, they are usually on Saturdays and Sundays all day long. So we have stuff just thrown everywhere, and it happened to have, or this weekend happened to have a cold front come through. So we had lots of jackets and blankets and all the things just thrown out around the place. And like I said, I had broken my toe and this past weekend it was kind of hard for me to get around, or not hard, but I just wasn't walking around as normal. So I didn't do a whole lot of cleaning, which I think you guys have probably learned by now if you've been around for a while. I don't do a ton of cleaning over the weekend. I try to just relax and spend time with my family so I don't get a whole lot done. So. Now this is the result of that, <laughs> but now I'm just going to quickly pick up here in the living room, give the couches a good vacuum, and tidy up in here before we start on the kitchen. Now really quickly, for anyone that's new here, I wanted to go ahead and introduce myself and say thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come hang out with me and watch my video today. My name is Amy Darley. I live in a small town right outside of Savannah, Georgia. I'm a stay-at-home mom, and I started my YouTube channel about four years ago. My husband's name is Chance, and you'll see him in and out of some of my videos here and there. 
and he is in orthopedic sales. I always get questions about what he does because you might see him in scrubs. And then I have two kids. My son, Kaysen, is 10, and my daughter, Gracie June, is 8. Here on my channel, I share lots of cleaning motivation to hopefully make cleaning a little bit more enjoyable. And then I also share cleaning tips, hacks, organization, and then I like to sprinkle in other content within my videos. So you might see some recipes, grocery hauls, which I'm sharing a grocery haul in today's video, and anything else that I love or find helpful. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. And if you do, please be sure to subscribe and say hey down in the comments and introduce yourself. Maybe tell us a little bit about you, where you're from, so that way we can get to know you. And to all of my returning subscribers, I'm so glad that you showed up for another video. And I'm so, so grateful for every single one of you here. All right, moving into the kitchen, as you can see, we've got ja jackets and blankets and everything thrown everywhere from this weekend. I also have our baseball bag. It's this big bog bag. And if you have kids that are in sports um, or you go to the beach or the pool a lot, I highly recommend one of these bags. These things are awesome. So basically what I'm doing right now is I'm just taking everything out of it from the weekend. It needed to be cleaned down. And I'm gonna vacuum it out, wipe it out. You could actually just hose this out if you wanted to. That's what I typically do, but since it was inside, Chance had brought it in. We had a lot of snacks that I needed to pull out of here. So I'm just gonna wipe it down with the Grove Co. Multi-Surface Cleaner. And then I'm gonna reorganize it. So now I'm just going to put all the stuff that we keep in our baseball bag back in here. I'm just going to reorganize it. And these two really cute bags right here, the one that says stuff and the other one says snacks, I actually made those bags myself. And it seriously took me like two minutes to make each of those. And I shared all about how I made them, where I got all the materials and everything in a video a few weeks ago. And it also cost me less than 10 bucks to make each of these bags. And I see them going for sale on Etsy for like 35 each. So if you wanna see how I made them and where you can purchase the materials and everything, then I'll leave a link to that video down in the description box. All right, so this is the drawer where we keep all of our K-Cups, and you can see we only have one left in this drawer. So I'm gonna go ahead and restock it. I just got this huge box of coffee from Costco. So I'm gonna restock that really quick, and then we have a ton of coffee K-Cups left over. So I just keep those in the box and store them up in the cabinet above our refrigerator. Okay, so now that we have most everything put away back where it belongs, I'm gonna go ahead and put up our clean dishes. So these are the ones that I wash by hand. And then I've also got a my dishwasher, which is full of clean dishes. So I'm gonna unload this really quick. 
I typically try to run our dishwasher at night so that way I can unload our dishes in the morning and then any dirty dishes that we have throughout the day can go straight into our dishwasher instead of sitting in our sink all day. All right, so now I have a few dishes that I need to wash by hand. So before I do that, I wanted to go ahead and fill up my new Grove Co. soap dispensers to share with you their new Grove Co. Hope and Bloom collection, which is their limited edition collection for spring. This collection is so beautiful. I absolutely love the colors in this collection. And not only are these products good for the planet, but they're also sustainably powerful. These products came out at the perfect time and made me even more excited about spring cleaning. In this collection, there's the dish towel, sink tray, the bubble up dish brush, a cute little caddy to carry all of your supplies around in, the Grove Co. multi-purpose cleaner concentrate, and it goes in this little glass bottle here, which is also in the collection. And then we have the Grove Co. hydrating hand soap, and the dish soap. Both of these are in the Peony and Freesia scent and they smell amazing. Now I have actually been shopping from Grove Collaborative since before I ever started my YouTube channel. I absolutely love their products and the company. All of the Grove Co. cleaning products are made with clean ingredients with 100% natural fragrance and all of their paper packaging is recyclable. The refills are also made with recyclable plastic, free aluminum and glass bottles. And Grove Collaborative has a mission to be plastic free by 2025. So if you're interested in checking out the Grove Co. Hope and Bloom collection, I'm going to have a link down in my description box that will get you a free gift with your very first Grove Collaborative purchase. And I will also leave a list of all of my favorite Grove Collaborative products down in the description box in case you want to try out some of my favorite products. And if you already shop with Grove Collaborative, I would love to hear some of your favorite purchases down in the comments too, so that way I can get some ideas on some new things to try out. So I will be switching out both my hand soap and my dish soap um, bottles here on my sink. And then I'm also gonna switch out my little sink caddy here. I'm gonna use the new sink tray that I got from this collection. I love how pretty it is for spring. And then I'm gonna keep that same little caddy that holds my sponge and my bottle brush, which I actually got that from Grove Collaborative a long time ago as well. So I'll do a little switcheroo as soon as I get done cleaning the sink, but usually that's one of the last things I like to do in the kitchen because I am known to forget about dishes and then I'll have a clean sink and then have to go back and wash dishes again. So I try to make the sink cleaning one of the last things I do. Now I'm moving on to cleaning the stove and it's honestly not too too bad but I am using this little small handheld vacuum that I got off of Amazon. It's called a blue fill vacuum. I'm just going to use this to get up any crumbs and then I'm going to use the method degreaser to clean the stove top. Okay, it is sink cleaning time. I am gonna actually clean out the tray and the little um, sink caddy here as well. You can see how we've got some soap scum build up on here. So I'm gonna clean that off and then I'm gonna clean out my sink. And I use the Mrs. Myers baking soda cream cleanser. I also get this 
from Grove Collaborative and I get the lemon verbona scent. I think that's how you say it, but it's the only one that I ever get. It smells so good and it's really good for cleaning the inside of your sinks, whether you have porcelain sinks like me or if you have stainless steel, it works great too. And then these walnut scrubber sponges that you see me use in all of my videos, these are also from Grove Collaborative. They come in a pack of two and they have the walnut side, which is a little bit more rough. So it'll get up all those things that are caked on. And then the other side is just the soft sponge. And here's another little product that I get from Grove Collaborative. These are the European dishcloths. So they're like reusable paper towels. So I can reuse them over and over again. And then you can also wash them in your dishwasher or even in your washing machine and then reuse them. But I like using them to wipe down my sink really quick or even to wipe down the counters or even the stove. Like if the stove hasn't gotten super messy, I'll just do a quick wipe down with one of these little dishcloths. Okay, so now I have the whole Grove Co. Hope in Bloom collection here on my sink. I feel like it looks so pretty. I love the colors and I hope you guys love it too. Now I'm going to wipe down my granite countertops with the multi-purpose cleaner that I just put in here from the Grove Co. collection. And then I'm going to wipe down my wood countertops with the Method Wood Cleaner. It's in the almond scent and it smells amazing. It's one of those products that I've used for probably over the last four years. And I've tried other products, but I just, it's my favorite for any wood countertops or wood furniture around my house because one, it does a really good job cleaning and shining it, but it also smells really good too. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and take these mugs off of my mug rack because they were more like winter mugs and I'm going to replace them with these that look a little bit more like spring. They're a little bit brighter colors and just make me feel like spring is coming. All right, now the kitchen is all clean. I still have to do the floors, but since I at least have it picked up, it's nice and clean in here, I can run upstairs and I'm gonna start spring cleaning here in Gracie June's room. And here's just a little look around. I'm gonna be picking up the mess in here first and dusting the furniture. And I'm gonna show you guys the spring cleaning checklist as well. And this list you can actually download for free. I have a link in my description box. And you can see here, I've checked off all the things on my bedroom in blue. And today I'm gonna to be using a purple marker to check off all of the checklist items for Gracie June's room as we get all the spring cleaning done in here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually take off the mattress protector 
and then I am gonna start dusting. I have all of my little supplies here in my caddy for today, and I'm gonna take this pillowcase and dust off the fan blades. Now, this is a hack that I show all the time, but I, this is how I dust the fan blades so that all of the dust falls straight into the pillowcase instead of all over the floor and all over the bed. Next, I'm just taking some baking soda and I'm gonna sprinkle it all across the mattress and let it sit. I let it sit as long as possible, but at least let it sit for an hour before vacuuming it up. Now, when I started on my to-do list this morning, originally I had planned on spring cleaning both Gracie June's room and Kaysen's room, and I was gonna go through all of their clothes and declutter and everything. But I think my to-do list was way too long. I didn't expect it to take me as long as it did downstairs and as well as in Gracie June's room. Um, so needless to say, I did not get all of that done. I ended up only getting the spring cleaning done in Gracie June's room for today. So I will actually be picking up where I left off for next week's video in Kaysen's room. I'm also going to be decluttering both of their like closets and their dressers and all of that. I didn't get to that in Gracie June's room today either. So I definitely put way too much on my to-do list for the day and that's okay. It's just a reminder that sometimes we don't always get it all done. Things come up, things happen, or we just over plan and we just pick up where we left off. Okay, now that all the furniture is dusted, I'm opening up the windows and I'm gonna clean out this window tracking. You can see it's pretty dirty. We also have a lot of pollen right now. And yes, that is a dead frog. I just took him and chunked him out the window. <laughs> Gross. Um, but these get pretty dirty. So what I'm gonna do first is just vacuum what I can up. And then I'm gonna take my Bissell Steam Shot and I'm gonna use this to get as much gunk off of this window tracking as possible without having to use anything else. And I love this product because if you have anything caked on in a place or, or also have cracks that are really hard to get into to clean with like a cloth or a scrub brush or anything, then this is great for that. It gets in there and it breaks up all that dirt that's been caked up on there forever and just makes it a lot easier without having to put a whole lot of elbow grease into cleaning. You were my best friend Didn't care about the rules Good on the weekends I'll be in fools Drift in the deep space so brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you. Now I'm just gonna wipe it all up with this microfiber cloth. And then after I do this, after I clean as much as I can, I will actually go back over it with a magic eraser and get anything else up that needs to be cleaned off. So I went to the next window and repeated the exact same process. So here is the before and after of cleaning. And I just used all the same products for this window tracking. 
And now I'm gonna do a quick dusting of our shutters and I'm gonna clean off our windows with the Method Glass Cleaner. And we do have the windows that actually open from the inside that you can like fold down and clean the outside of the windows. But in some of the rooms, the shutters make it to where it's not possible to pull the window inside. So we're just gonna have to pressure wash the outside of these windows whenever we get to the outside of the house which I don't think we'll get to the outside house spring cleaning for a while because the pollen is so bad here and we know that as soon as we pressure wash the house, the pollen's just gonna, you know, build up all over the outside again. So we don't wanna waste our money. Um, so we will wait to pressure wash the outside of the house until pollen season is over. Now it's a little bit later in the afternoon. The baking soda has sat on the bed for a while. So I'm actually gonna vacuum it up really quick and then put her mattress protector back on. And then I will knock out a few more items on our spring cleaning checklist before we put her bedding back on. All right, so now the last thing I'm gonna do in here before I vacuum is go ahead and make up her bed. And I always get questions about the kids' bedding whenever I share it. It is Betty's Bedding. And I do have a link to their bedding down in my description box. And I also have a 20% off coupon for their website. So basically it's zip up bedding. It makes it super easy for the kids to make their beds in the morning. It is a little bit pricey, but totally worth it. The quality is amazing. My kids have had their bedding for I think like three and a half years now and it's still in great condition. My kids love it, I love it and they have tons of different designs and also different sizes for different size beds. So definitely check those out if you think this is something that you'd be interested in. You've told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I, I ain't a person Stands all the clockwork of our romance. You make me feel so all right. So, the last thing I'm doing is a quick vacuum in here, and I'm going to actually use the same vacuum downstairs. But this is my corded shark uplight vacuum, and I told you guys that it was discontinued. But as I'm editing this video, it is in stock on Walmart's website. So if you run, you might be able to get it while it's still in stock. It does go out of stock really quickly, but I love this vacuum. It's my all time favorite vacuum that I've ever had. It picks up so much dog hair and dust. It also has a self cleaning brush roll. So if you have long hair that gets wrapped around the brush roll of your vacuum, this actually cleans that off. So we never have hair wrapped around the brush roll, which is crazy to me. I've never seen a vacuum that could do that. Um, and it's also super inexpensive, especially since they have discontinued it. So if you can get it while it's in stock at Walmart, definitely get it for the price that they have it for because it's amazing. But I am currently looking for another one that's not discontinued that I can share with you guys that won't keep going out of stock so fast. But I promise you, as soon as I find one, I will let you know. I just want to make sure that it's the same quality as this one that we have and a really good price. All right, so the only thing I did not get checked off is decluttering her dresser and her closet. So I definitely will get to that in next week's video as well as Kaysen's room and some other cleaning around the house. So be on the lookout for that. Now we're back downstairs and I'm just using that same vacuum, my Shark Uplight, to vacuum our rugs really quick. And after I vacuum each of these rugs, I'm gonna show you the dust bin so you can see how much dog hair and dust and everything that this thing picked up with just one pass over each of these rugs. And I do empty it between as well. 
But after I get done vacuuming, I'm going to do a quick mop using my Tenco iFloor 2. It's actually a vacuum and mop combo. And I'll talk a little bit more about that product as soon as I start mopping. If you're gonna be moving on solo, wait a second, cause they're playing the best song. I'll be there if you reach out to me. Okay, so here is the Tenco iFloor 2. It is a vacuum and mop in one, which cuts down on so much time when it comes to cleaning my wood floors. It does not vacuum on rugs though because it does automatically wet. There's no like just dry vacuuming. So don't use it on your rugs or carpet, but it's perfect for hardwood floors or linoleum, vinyl, all of that stuff. I've had this vacuum mop for about two months now and I clean my floors so much more now that I have this just because it cuts my cleaning time in half when I'm doing the floors. I don't have to go around the entire hardwood floors and vacuum and then go back over and go mop. I can just do it all at once. Now I do know that there is an iFloor 3, so there is a newer model than this one and it was already out when I decided to purchase this one, but I wanted to purchase it because I figured they couldn't be that much different and the price was a whole lot better. So I will link this one down in the description box in case you want to check it out. And I do, I do still use my Oceder Spin Mop because as you can see, the iFloor 2, because of the wheels and everything, it doesn't get right up on the wall. So I love using my Oceder Spin Mop, especially like at least once every other week, just to make sure that I'm getting close up to the wall, the whole wood floor is getting clean, and I like to use it to clean my baseboards at the same time. So I do still love my Oceder Spin Mop, and I'm actually going to get the, a lot of you told me about the new one that they have that has the two mop or the two bucket system that separates the clean water from the dirty water. So I'm actually going to get that and try it out because a lot of you know our dog Cooper, he's the chocolate lab that you saw earlier in my video. He is 13 years old. He's the sweetest thing in the whole world. Um he is actually blind, deaf, and his hips are going out on him, so it's really hard for him to get around and walk. And he's also been having a lot of accidents in the house lately. And I think it's just because he's so old, or maybe it's his hips or whatever, but he's not able to hold his bowel movements as well. And so we have been cleaning up a ton of messes on our rugs, as well as our hardwood floors. And so we have been using our Oceder Spin Mop to clean up those messes. And to just think like I'm putting my mop back into the same dirty water that I'm supposed to be cleaning with kind of grosses me out, especially when it comes to feces, you know. So I'm excited to try out the new Oceder spin mop that they have with the two bucket system and let you guys know what I think about it. Stepped into my life, such a magic feeling. We tore down my walls. I wish I could go back to right before you told me. I try to change it all. 
But look at us now, could have gone so far. It hurts to realize we're parted. Yeah, look at us now, this is who we are. And I just know things will never be the same. We're like strangers again, again, again. Strangers again, again, again. We're like strangers again, again, again. I just know things will never be the same. We're like strangers again. Tried much harder, all we have are scars. Said we okay, so you can see how quickly I was able to vacuum and mop the floors downstairs, and it dries really quick too, which I love. But look at all of the mess that it picked up. So, this is what the inside of the canister looks like with the dirty water, as well as everything that it vacuumed up too. Now, after I get done vacuuming, I will rinse this out outside and then I fill the little water tank back up with clean water and then just push the little button on the top of the Tenco and it will actually self clean the brush roll for me. And then I do clean out the dirty water tank and all the little pieces every single time I vacuum, but every couple of times, Probably every two or three times I vacuum, I will pull off the little piece that goes over the brush roll as well as the brush roll itself, just because it'll start to smell if you don't keep it clean. So there is a little bit of maintenance that comes with this vacuum, but it's so much quicker than having to vacuum my entire downstairs and then go back and mop it again after I've vacuumed. Try to forget you Just didn't think we'd end up this way Like strangers again Alright, so that's all the cleaning that I'm going to do, but really quick, I'm going to share with you a grocery haul from Costco and Publix, and then I will give you a little clean house tour or a little overview of what the house looks like now that it's all clean. Hey guys, so I have a little grocery haul here to show you guys. I got lots of stuff from Costco and Publix, so I'm going to show you what I got really quick. Alright, so here you can see we have a huge grocery haul. I'm going to start with all the Costco items and then I'll show you what I got from Publix. So we've got the Real's Alfredo sauce and the marinara sauce. This is such a good deal compared to what you would pay at any of the other grocery stores. So I love getting them there. We've also got the breakfast blend coffee. You guys saw me stock that earlier. I've got some goldfish. I accidentally got the bagged goldfish. I meant to get the huge bags it comes in like a three pack of huge containers of goldfish but I wasn't paying attention and I actually got these but that'll work my kids love this um, and then they also love the fruit snacks so we go through all of these things pretty quickly so I got those I got these keto bars to try out for like low carb days they have nine grams of protein one of my friends told me about these so I wanted to try those um, Lots and lots of raisins. We've got Premier Protein. I did try out, I tried a Fairlife protein shake and I did like them. However, I still like the Premier Protein better. So I got the chocolate and then the Cafe Latte is what I've been hooked on lately. So if you need like a coffee fix, then, and you need to get some protein in, I highly recommend these because it still has 30 grams of protein, but it also has as much caffeine as a cup of coffee. Probably won't do this one today since I had two cups of coffee this morning and I never do that. But I had a lot of cleaning to do today, so. All right, um, now we're moving on to Publix. So the rest of this stuff is from Publix. We've got some, what are these? Powerade Zeros. And then we've got the bigger bottles of Gatorade Frost. I got a 12 pack of Diet Dr. Pepper. 
We've got three packs of these nut pods that are really good. I use in my cream or as my creamer in my coffee. We've got lots of rice. I like these because they're super quick and easy. We've got jasmine and basmati. Some um, rice cakes back here, just the lightly salted rice cakes. Skippy natural creamy peanut butter. Sugar-free syrup. This is for me. My kids don't have the sugar-free one, but I don't mind it. Um, some Joseph's lavish bread and pita bread. Pop-Tarts for Kaysen. Um, And then I already broke into this, but we've got these. They're little um, English muffins, but they're cinnamon plus protein. So these actually have nine grams of protein in them. And I just spray it with like the... Um, I can't believe it's not butter spray after I toast it and I eat it just like that. It's super delicious. Um, some cosmic brownies for the kids, some light ranch dressing, just a regular old classic salad bag mix. Um, we've got some thin spaghetti. This is the protein plus, so it's got extra protein in it. Then we've got some diced red onion. This is our favorite pico de gallo from Publix. We love this one a lot. I've got a green pepper, some asparagus for our dinner for tonight. And then for tomorrow night, we're doing taco salad. So these things are so good on the taco salad. It's just crispy jalapenos. They're spicy, but they're not like too, too spicy. They're delish. And then some pistachios. And this is the chili roasted flavor. I haven't tried these yet, so. The lady at checkout said that it was really good. Um, and then we've got lots of deli turkey meat, some Mexican blended four cheese, shredded cheese, some mozzarella, and this is the low moisture part skim, so it has a little bit less fat in it. Um, some pepperoni, and then some diced ham. I'm gonna do some little pita pizzas for lunch this week, so I'm gonna use all of this stuff for that. Um, we got pork chops for tonight, some ground beef for our tacos for tomorrow night. So, and then we've got lots of chicken in the freezer already. So, we are all set for the week. All right, guys. So, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got tons of cleaning motivation. Don't forget to go check out the Grove Collaborative website for some awesome cleaning products and use my link to get a free gift with your first purchase. Also print out that spring cleaning checklist so you can get all your spring cleaning done with me over the next couple of months. If you're new, be sure to subscribe before you leave and say hey in the comments. Check out some of the videos here on the screen to get even more cleaning motivation and I hope you guys have an amazing week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!